Shark, welcome, welcome to the show, and uh, thank Appreciate you for you. Uh, for sitting down today. Um, so, God, there's so much that we could talk about, but uh, for I have a lot of new viewers who've been checking out my show recently. So, if you would like to just introduce yourself and give them all a a sort of rundown of of who you are and what you do online, that would be amazing. Sure. Hello, my name is Shark 300. That's the word shark, the number three, the letter O, and the word zero. I do politics and gaming. Um, I, I am I am a lefty. I hide my power level a little bit. I am a socialist boy, an anti-capitalist boy. Um, we we love to we we love to uh, challenge the system and whatnot. You know you know how dogs is and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, I, I, most of my content revolves around ducking on conservatives, making people cognizant of some issues, talking about things that I enjoy and like in the space, and just overall having a good time, trying to make people make the world a better place, one meme at a time. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. We are definitely fans of dunking on conservatives over here. Uh, God knows, I've done my share of that. Um, Inshallah. Yeah, it's a. Uh, in fact, I'd like to do more of it. Uh, uh, I feel like there's been, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe not enough of it lately, especially given everything that's been going on. Although I, I, I've been, I've been greatly enjoying people uh, uh, dunking on the potentially fake news. Uh, mm, hungry of the uh, the Ron DeSantis. <laughs> I don't know if you oh, saw hungry. that. <laughs> yeah, mm, mm, hungry. hungry. So good. Um, I'm going to say it's true, mostly because it's funny, and then and then just leave it at that. It just, it's not I, I just, real. It just, Everybody in chat is it's, saying I mean, it's real. Here's the. I mean, here. Did you know that he? I mean, remember his sit down interview when he was like, "My wife, I mean my mom." My, sorry, when he was like, "My mommy, I mean my wife." Yes, I, like, I he, do he, remember that. Do he, remember he called that. his own wife his mommy <laughs> live on TV. So I'm just kind of like, is it is it real? Probably not. But like, it's the funniest thing is that it's not necessarily out of character for. It's him. believable. Is the it, that's the part that hits the hardest. It's so believable. The fact the fact yeah. that I believed a lie on the internet says a lot about the state of the world that we're in. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the fact that I thought it could be true. I mean, I, I will say it does sound like him, and uh, and uh, I'm uh, I, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed laughing at the clip, uh, regardless of its veracity. Uh, it's, I, it's I personally think that humor it's humor is good. I don't have too many conspiracy theories, but I have one conspiracy theory, and it's that mm, Hungui came out right after Ice Cream So Good, but as a as a, <laughs> yeah. as a, a to co op and as a psyop to make us no longer think about that really cool Quebecian lady who does NPC TikToks. Yeah, I, I, I actually had a conversation with uh, I don't know if you're familiar if if you know President Sunday earlier, but uh. Me and President mm -hmm. Sunday were talking about uh, the NPC phenomenon and the uh, overlaps with um, ASMR, especially the overlaps with uh, oddly satisfying content like soap cutting and slime crunching and whatever. Um, it was you a really ASMR. What's that? Uh, actually, no. ASMR? Well, I mean, sometimes yes. There is an overlap between soap cutting and the slime squishing, but they're not actually technically ASMR, and they mm -hmm. they sort of evolved parallel, believe it or not. I'm like a super ASMR freak, and my chat will get mad if I go on about ASMR too much. Um, I, I, I listen to ASMR sometimes. I, I treated my chat to um, a video that I listen to every now and again. It's, it's ear-blowing heartbeat. So oh, they'll based. have two mics, one connected to their heart, so you can hear their heartbeat, and they'll go and they'll just blow into the microphone slowly, and they'll that's, do that for like two hours. That's some good taste right there. Hell it yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, I like I've it. Been, they didn't uh, like it that much. They got scared. Some people don't like it, um, and I, I can understand like I can understand the like misophonia reaction. You know, like some sounds just don't what? sit well with people. Misophonia, I think is what it's called. What is that? It's a, it's like a, uh, it's on like a, a food that went rogue in ch uh, chowder. <laughs> yeah. It kind of does sound like that. It's a, uh, it's, it's a term that means like when you have a bad reaction to certain sounds, like for example, uh, the one that everybody uses is styrofoam. Um, like somebody, you oh, know, yeah, squishing like styrofoam taking together. two pieces of styrofoam and like, yeah, yeah. Them against each other. that's like yeah. the most common nails on a chalkboard is another one okay. that like it immediately it's, it's a, it's a strong negative reaction to certain sounds. Um, and some people have that for certain ASMR triggers, which I totally understand. However, uh, I've encountered, and I don't want to turn this into a whole conversation about ASMR. I'm sorry for getting off on a, such a tangent, but, no, I love um, it. but, uh, I've encountered a weird hostility to ASMR that goes above and beyond like the mi mi misophonia, misophonia, um, thing. I, I don't know what it is. 
I, I don't know. I, I, I've been trying to temper uh, my negative reaction to the NPC thing because there is some there is some of the NPC thing that makes me go, that's a little that's a little unsettling. There's uncanny valley, but I've been trying well, to temper it, you know, because the, I don't think the it's Quebec, like harmful. The Quebec lady, for me personally, the Quebec lady, that's one that one's perfectly understandable because literally yeah. all she's doing is giving the same exact reaction. She has like I, I, I explained it is like it's a cookie cutter reward for somebody. I mean, you do do you you have a saying when somebody subscribes, right? Um, I used to. I mean, I used to have a, a little sound clip that played mm -hmm. when I got like a subscriber or whatever. Although um, it hasn't worked for a while and I just haven't put it back because uh, I felt like it was just, I don't know, interrupting everything I was saying. Yeah, no, so, I feel you. It's like but, I, but it's common, me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, it's um, it, it's uh, like mine, my, mine goes like shark pog and I go, thank you for joining the frenzy and being so incredibly pog, right? And I yeah, say it the same awesome. way every single time. And it's just, she has a cookie cutter response to every single like donation that you can give that she's yeah. practiced and rehearsed. And it's just, they've given her so much that she just started, the stream is just her thanking subscribers. Yeah. And so it's just, it just became one of those things where it's, it's just like balloon. I yeah, so no, good. she's definitely and, yeah, yeah. good at it. She's definitely yeah, she's got great. it down. Yeah. That, listen, the talent is there. No, no hate to that. It's quality control. I've never seen a content creator with such good quality control. Like if I give her ice cream, I know exactly what I'm gonna get yeah. in return, and it's yeah. and it's good. I think I think perhaps part of what uh, what puts it in the uncanny valley for me is like a personal nightmare of like uh, I if if like I I get nervous even getting overwhelmed with dono dono messages which does happen mm -hmm. and I'm just like all right guys I'm reading them at the end because like yeah uh, that that's pro it's probably a me thing on that front where it's like oh man the obligation to make to like do a, a dance or a song or a, or a thing every time somebody does something oh no I'm never letting but my she did have something that level genius yeah. she did something genius which is turning the content of the stream into the thank you. Like turn yeah. the thank you into the content of the stream. So yeah. now people come to watch her say thank you to <laughs> to getting money. I mean, it's and so you don't even have to worry about no it. No doubt, it's definitely it's definitely a good uh, it's definitely a good money making setup. I, I, I no I no hate there whatsoever. Well, anyway, imagine. not to stick on the NPC stuff for too long. Uh, uh, I, I appreciate very much hearing uh, your your defense of the NPC people because uh, generally my opinion has been. Some of this is a little uncanny to me, but I don't think it's hurting anybody. And it reminds me a lot of ASMR. So I haven't had like a strongly negative reaction, but it's good to hear a solidly positive one. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, uh, wow. So the primary topic that uh, has brought us together today is uh, significantly less fun to talk about, I think, than at least for me, uh, and I imagine probably for you, than the NPC stuff. And that is this amorphous, angry, very uh, uh, divisive drama that's been going on. And um, recently, as I'm sure you know, but in case your viewers and some of my new viewers didn't know, just a couple days ago, I sat down and had a conversation um, with a creator named Soul Bunny, a smaller creator, um, who uh, uh, right after re uh, listening to a video by a another creator, named Foreign Man in a Foreign Land. And I had some negative things to say about the Foreign Man in a Foreign Land video. I'll be straight up with that. Uh, I, I, I had a lot of critiques for it. And my conversation with Soul Bunny um, was uh, generally friendly, although um, it, it was divisive because there were things said about various topics, one of which is yourself. Um, uh, uh, that, that, uh, that, that, caused very, a reaction from a lot of people. And and I think that's fair. I think that a lot of people had uh, genuine opinions to express and genuine frustrations. And um, that whole, this whole thing has been rather complicated and hard to follow for a lot of people, myself included. So I guess maybe the way that we should start this off, um, besides the way that I already have, uh, is just to ask you like, for you, from your perspective, where did this start? What started this whole thing? What, what, what as far as you can tell, what is what what started this whole thing? Uh, what started this whole thing, honestly, personally, was the uh, that um, that Soul Bunny video 
um, where I don't, I don't even remember what the whole video was about. I didn't watch the whole video, um, but I did uh, look at the parts like five minutes before and five minutes after. Uh-huh. Um, she mentioned me. I remember uh, she, they, it was she and they. Yeah, she, that. Yep. Okay. Um, well, yeah, where, 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 where they mentioned me in their video, and they, and then when they went off on me, they went, went uh-huh. candid and went off on me and everything. Yeah. Um, and after after that happened, I didn't know that it happened. I'm not. I'm actually not on Twitter necessarily that much. I tweet mm-hmm. like a you know reasonable amount. Um, nothing too crazy. But I I don't like scroll through my timeline super often, and I don't like um, look at my notifications super often. And actually, on my phone, I have uh, Twitter notifications turned off, so I don't get a lot of ads that people do of me unless it's like after the fact. After typical, take a couple days and scroll through. Which is wise. So I, I, which is, I, which I, is wise. <laughs> In my opinion, yeah, it's just, I just want to start to spend a little less time on Twitter. So not getting a, a reason to go back on is, is, is nice when, when I when I don't get the notifications. I sometimes I forget it, ex- it exists. Um, also, but wise. but yeah, yeah, a couple. I think I, I saw the video about like three, four days after the first like big clip was posted, like the big clip that I saw. Mm-hmm. And I got added in, in it where with her like calling me a slur and basically calling me um vosh's uh, uh pet dancing monkey um uh and i was like and i was like damn that's like not cool and i and then i said something and then they and then they started to like close in and descend have you ever played vampire survivors oh absolutely love vampire yeah it's like it's like that when like the round starts and like uh like the 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 screen closes in as they come in on you and then that's and then that's when that happened Right, and then over the course of like the next couple of days, it started to ramp up until, um, until I had everything, and then I went kind of silent as I put together my video. At first, I didn't want to say anything, but then after things like progressed, I was like, okay, things need to be, things need to be said now, and then I had to make a, a response. But it started with that video, yeah. Um, honestly, and they and they like uh they 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 picked it up. I will say one thing: I did listen to your your entire conversation that you had with her. Uh-huh. Um, one thing that I felt like that was super interesting was that at like nearing the end or something, she was like, everybody, um, always takes things. Everybody keeps things going for way too long. Everything happens. Like, like everybody feels like they need to, well, I, sorry, she, she didn't say that, but she was like, everything goes on for too long. They make these things go on for too long. These uh-huh. issues that they brought up with me, how old are they? They're minimum one year, right? I mean, I, I think that the. If I recall correctly, the main um, the the main thrust was some commentary that you had made on the Cat Black situation between um, Vosh and Cat her Black. And Vosh. What's that? Yeah, yeah, between yeah, her, and Vosh. her and Vosh. And I can that probably like, get I you think, the date on that. It, it's definitely yeah, I think at least a year. a year. I think it's oh, well over yeah. a year now. And I think um, the Professor Flowers stuff, I think that's at least... Is, is that Guys, is that closing in on two? I think that's definitely closing in on two years, if not two oh, years. Oh, God, old, that's probably. very old, yeah. Um, yeah. The let's see. I, I've got this stream right here, right now. Vosh's stream about this, and it was from March fifteenth of twenty twenty two. So yeah, well over a year uh, would have been the sort of inciting incident that was talked about here. Um, and for the Professor Flowers, yeah, I believe that's. I think that's over two years now. And um, I've I've gone on the record as. Uh, as saying like I I never want to hear Professor Flowers Vosh drama like those words in a combination cause my brain to immediately shut off. It's like um, I don't even know like the the level of conflict. I I saw all that. I did a stream on, at the time, and I genuinely thought it would be sort of over in a week. I thought it would be. People were mad, uh, you said this, uh, you weren't super good about this, whatever, and then it would be done like anything. But the fact that it's still being brought up in videos now and is is wild to me. And uh, I, I don't know how to parse that completely outside of like gr- grudges being nursed. And I don't want to downplay things because like God knows, I mean, I've dealt with some shit that I will be very blunt about and say like hey shit that has been done to me and said about me in these spaces um like i'm not gonna like like if somebody asked me about it i'm not gonna not talk about it i'm not gonna say like oh yeah whatever but also there's no like i'm not making videos about it or um or dropping it into video segments and 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 firing shots you know all this time later and i feel like i have pretty 
a solid receipt if I even wanted to do so, but I don't. And uh, yeah, I don't know, that, it, it, it I, burns for so long and it's surprising to me. Yeah, my thing is just like, I don't know, in, throughout that conversation, I don't know, I was just like, because this happens a lot, okay? This happens uh -huh. online a lot, where something big happens, or something happens at all, and then it's and then when it's new to you, that's when you think that it's new, and then you start yeah. talking about it like it's new, and then it starts to pick up again. So like, they came on and they started like to 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 you know wax and you know what went you know waxing poetically about how it sucks so much that my 15 second clip that I made. Um, like this is them speaking. Like my my 15 second clip that I made, it's all these people's fault for continuing to talk about it. When I just think that it's actually your fault for you making it in the first place. Like it's 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 somebody else's fault for like talking about something that you brought up that was over a year old. My just thing is my thing is that I just feel like it's hypocritical to be like I can't believe people are having this continue for so long when you just appeared in the space and then just started to talk about it again. Like it just happened yesterday when all this stuff was like a year old i'm not saying that you can't talk about it. i'm just saying that it just seems yeah. uh, it, it i think it like builds a character for me because when i watch your video if i'm going to be honest with you when i watch your like discussion i i, I think it like they were like oh like his response solidified my my opinion of him in, in my mind which is something that i didn't really which is something i thought was going to happen and i didn't really care and i didn't make i'm not sure did you see my video that i made no i didn't actually um I, the, okay. the, I didn't see all of Soul Bunny's video either. Um, Soul That's Bunny fine. came in and, and I, I just I just wanted to ask yeah, because yeah, no, yeah I just wanted to ask because I, I just didn't know I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to mansplain to you honestly. No, that was something you already knew. <laughs> so yeah, so I was like, um, I, I I didn't make that video for them. Any of the people that I mentioned in that video, I didn't do it for them. If I'm going right. to be completely honest, if if I'm going to be candid, I be, I view all of these people at this point as you know, capital M straight up monsters. I just, I just straight up, all of them, I just view them as monsters. And I don't want to say anything that you have to agree with. I think that you're cordial with, with her and, and like her um, and, and everything. But I, I just, I just, at this point, I just straight up view these people as just monsters who just like hurting other people and don't care about anything else as long as other, as long as somebody else that they don't like bleeds. And it's just like, it's I, to the I point mean, where I, I after, like after time I started, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Though. No, that could be. Listen, I'm gonna say this could be completely like if I'm gonna use the word um like paranoid mm -hmm. or like going too far. I'm just I'm just being candid in my mind personally. That's just how I feel about these people and how they treated me. If I look at their actions, um, in, in, in like if they look at their actions compared to their words, I think like somebody's words tell you what's in their head. I think their actions tell you what's in their heart. And if I look at their actions, like if I look at like the antagonizing things, I said somebody did something bad once and it doesn't make them a bad person. I didn't even make a video about the cat black situation. If I'm going to be honest, like on YouTube, I didn't. I made one tweet and I also did a video where I said I completely see how people I, I did a video on on Twitch. I did like a little mini stream that I uploaded straight to Twitch because I knew I have less viewers there. I didn't I didn't want to make this like a big thing. I didn't think it was that big of a thing, but mm -hmm. I wanted to expand on some of my points. So I made that video there. Right. But if I and then on like P Professor Flowers stuff, I feel like I've treated Professor Flowers incredibly cordially through everything that I've did and everything that I that, that I've done. Um, and I and I look at like the inciting situations and I look at like the actions that are done and I'm like, I'm not the one who's calling people like slurs yeah. o o o o over this stuff, okay? I'm not the one who, you know, I'm not FD who did a stream about whether or not I'm I'm a fly in milk who should like know his place um, like behind black people who, who know more and who are less like tainted by their connections with like white people or whatever. I'm not the one who said that I'm doing like, that, that, that said they're like Candace Owens who um, is whose like existence online and just in the world generally speaking is a blight on black people just generally i'm not the one who said that if i was like a, if we were back in like the 1800s i would be a black slave owner torturing slaves and it'd be and i'd laugh at it i didn't make slave edits of anybody i didn't do that and i look at all these actions and i go are these the actions of somebody who of people who genuinely care about me and like changing my mind or making the world a better place or are these the actions of people who are just monsters and i had to come and for me where i'm sitting and people can come to their own conclusions from where i'm sitting i came to the conclusion that these people are simply just monsters who just want to harm me just to harm me and so i decided to not make that video for them and so i wasn't talking to them 
um, oh. and so it makes it makes sense for all that type of stuff. But I don't know. It just I so it the, her her like talking to me. It just rubbed me the wrong way. If I'm gonna be honest, I haven't talked about this much publicly outside yeah. of the immediate thing. So no, and that's 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 fair. I mean, your name came up a lot in in the conversation, and so there's a few things I want to say. So the first thing is, um, you know, my goal in any of these conversations has never been to minimize anybody's experience. In fact quite the opposite has been my goal. My goal has been to try and get people in in whatever small way I can, you know, from my relatively small platform. Um, sure. And, I, and, and once again, I don't want to like stop you from doing that. And I like, and I don't care like who you're friends with, just so you know, and I'm not uh, like you're yeah, you, like well, you said, you I may mean, have been friends with them or you're like cordial with them. I don't care. I don't want to like try and put you in and tell you like you need to like, not, not be friends. I don't, I don't I, care about that. I, I'm just telling never, you, like, how I, I don't have a history in this space of, uh, of, of, uh, of, not, of of like refraining from being able to criti criticize my friends. Uh, that's in fact I have the reputation for the opposite, for better or worse. Um, oh no, I'm just saying like my, like my my position. But, uh, I, don't, I, don't care I guess about what I'm trying to say is that like my goal has never been to like minimize anyone's uh you know frustration or feelings of hurt. But I feel like um so first of all I feel like there has been and I do I think I will. Uh, I'm more than comfortable to say that, like, I feel like there has been an incredible amount of hyperbole directed at you. Um, and I think that even happened in the conversation that I had with Soul Bunny, which is something that I said in that conversation, you'll probably recall. I said, like, don't you feel like a lot of these things, um, like, like comparisons to Candace Owens, like, w how does that, how do you, how do you like justify that as a statement. And I, I personally don't feel like there's been a good argument made for those types of, of that level of hyperbole. And I do think that type of stuff is hurtful. I want to believe that, that it's not a matter of people being monsters or anything like that. And I'm not saying you're not entitled to that type of feeling or not. I, I, I like to believe that, um, that there are incentives at play here that lead people to forget, uh, <laughs> lead people to uh, uh, forget their humanity uh, and that that can be corrected. Now, maybe it can't. Um, I've certainly encountered situations online where it's not possible to bridge that gap. I want to believe that it's possible, but I don't actually, I don't actually feel like it's my place or my job to like make people be friends or even encourage them to be friends. I'm just saying from my perspective, I hope that's not the case, but I completely understand why you might feel that, especially given some of the things that have been said about you. Um, which I guess, uh, uh, and there was one other thing that, that you were saying, which was, um, when you say, and I don't want to, I don't want to try and grill you here or hold you to a point, but when you say, um, like these people, um, is there, is there a, uh, like, I'm not trying to get you to name names or anything, but I feel like it's important that, that I was, I was pushing soul bunny on vagueness. And I felt like that was a problem that, that is continually yeah, happening. Yeah, Soul Bunny, Tire, Dog Face Gremlin, um, uh, F FD partly as well, uh, Innuendo Studios, uh, Jesse Earl. Yeah, I mean, I think those... and and their and their like troop of people um, that that they would like to call mostly cornbread too, but I don't know any everybody who subscribes to that label, so I can't say. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, much like bread tube, I. Can't Joe Lewis, tell. I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot about Joe Lewis as well. I blocked him as well. I had to. Oh, had to. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, to also, Mr. 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 Anti Miscegenation himself as well. Um, Endless Cemetery, that guy too. Um, anybody else that I, that I missed? Because because oh, I'm going to be doing something different. Because Soul Bunny just like came on here and was just all just straight vagueness. All right. And I'm, I feel I'm, like I'm she was vague on, on certain on certain Insane. things, but I feel like she was unvague when she talked about you, which was something that was um that I sort just, of stood I out. I personally disagree, actually, because do you know what she like for from like actually I I very much disagree, and I think you disagree as well because I remember specifically, and you can tell me if I'm wrong here when uh, I, when she was like Candace Owens' tendencies, and you're like what tendencies oh, that she just went to then ramble. Adult, yes, I should be clear. I just mean with question. naming names is all I was is all I was trying sure. to say there. I apologize. I, I I would agree with you a hundred percent in that I reviewed that conversation and I still don't feel like I was able that I was given or that anybody has given me at any point um a a solid actual allegation of what you've done. And that's part of that's one of the things that has bothered me and why I opened this conversation by 
um, asking you like what your perception of what started this was, um, because I think it's important to hear like like your perspective on that, where like what things were being lobbed against you. And if you could recall like where it started, because like, yeah. I mean, when I've been in that place, I brought up with Soul Bunny, I brought up a situation where um, someone took an argument that I made during a conversation about gender and drew it to an unbelievable conclusion that concluded with me being a danger to trans people was the, was the sort of telephone game that was played. And I gave that as an example to sort of uh, illustrate no, exactly what we're talking What's that? Those girls shit with Riley, right? Yeah, it was. It started with Riley Grace Roshong, and it blew up into uh, into something so much worse uh, that lasted for a yeah, really long time. Yeah, it was a mess, and it was terrible. And I still hold to this day, you know, not to do what I was talking about, like relitigate drama, but I still hold that that the conclusions that people drew from that were outrageous, and that what they ended up trying to label me as was completely unreasonable, like totally. Do you and think I feel that like that's something here? That's happening here. Do you think that Soul Bunny believes that she's done anything wrong? Like, do they? Do you think they believe that they've done anything wrong? On a personal level, um, like in this whole situation with me and everything. I did not get the feeling uh, that Soul Bunny uh, was was willing to acknowledge uh, any sort of ta like tangible wrongdoing, and that was something That's... that I was frustrated about with the conversation. Yeah, because... me personally, I think you can tell a lot about somebody uh, based on whether or not they actually think that they they are even in have the possibility of being wrong in the situation. Because mm -hmm. I think some, well, I think yeah, a I, mean... I think reasonable people can disagree with my uh, position on like the the cat shit and the flower shit i think reasonable people can disagree and i've had reasonable discussions in the comment mm -hmm. section of both of those videos i don't think yeah. that's a problem but and and i can and i'm and i'm perfectly fine with some things that i may have said that are possibly wrong i talk like all the time i stream for like 100 hours a month so yeah. Yeah, uh, so you're yeah, definitely the, the likelihood of me saying something sure. wrong and all of that yeah is is is, is reasonably is, is reasonably there i just think i just just for me i just never heard any of these people ever say something that they think that they've ever had the possibility of being wrong and it just it, it, for me honestly it's it's like i'm not sure if anybody's really said this and it's probably just like another way of saying saying dunning kruger but i really think that like an ounce of knowledge comes with like a pound of hubris for a lot of people and and so like when you start to no more and you start to get into these like social uh, the social economic and, and and like cultural issues you start to believe that you know more than you actually do and i've i've got from a lot of these people that the likelihood that they think that they've ever said anything wrong really on their stream or channel maybe it's because they think that they spend like three weeks making a single video it means that they've like they've come they've ironed out all the issues but i don't think that's true and even like I know FD specifically in the first like conversation that we had even uh, even afterwards even said that they, he had like a high horse ivory tower type understanding because he explained like him versus like the debate bros is he oh. him in like the the uh, uh, cornbread tube that they weren't like pre cornbread tube they're all like the generals wearing the suits in their ivory towers and then we're like the the ogres and the monsters in like the trenches doing the doing the battling I think he almost used that exact analogy honestly um oh. and it's just like it, I, I think it just shows a lot of like how you how you think about the world and how you think yeah. about other people in the space and even she said like oh i think uh we agree on like 95 96 percent of stuff and i think you and well, I, I think like they actually the care a lot that, about the 95 96 percent of stuff like, like they care about like the five or four or five percent stuff like a lot when, more I, than the when 95 i was talking with her um bringing that up and i i i found it and and i i i did my best at least in this conversation to try and drill down on that to the best of my ability is just like, well, I, I don't know how you can compare somebody who you agree with on 90% of things with by your own admission to somebody who you definitely, Candace Owens is not, there's no, I, I, I don't believe that there's a 90% agreement between Soul Bunny and Candace Owens, which to me just further illustrates that that was a, um, a, an out of pocket, uh, exaggeratory hyperbolic comparison to make um yeah and on that and on that idea because like it was she was like more like oh but it, uh, it went from just like candace owens to well backpedal to just like candace owens tactics do you even do you have any like semblance of an idea what they even mean when they say that no and that was what i that's again that's what i said in the conversation which is what i said well what do you mean when you're when you're talking about tactics because um, and I think the conclusion of that particular segment on Soul Bunny's part, and I'm trying to be, I want to be as charitable as possible because obviously she's not here right now, but um, was to say that it was lying. 
But I don't think that <laughs> when I think of Candace Owens, I don't think of like being a liar as her sort of uh, a characteristic right wing trait. I think of uh, uh, the fact that, you know, she's founded and been a part of uh, knowingly and willingly a uh, extremely prejudiced uh, right wing propaganda outlet that she uses her identity to shield that outlet from harm in a very explicit, knowledgeable way to her to to incredible riches to her own gain. She makes a lot of money. We know to some degree how much money the people there are. So I don't see that as a corollary uh, to just lying. And I, I felt like that was a that was one of the sections of the conversation where I was uh, I didn't feel like I could get any other answer. And, I think uh, that yeah. she was actually telling the truth there. I think I, I I think that's what she actually believes in her head is that. Um, there's two things, okay? And especially the not ever, not wanting to accept that not all black people think the same way that she does was like proof for me at the end when when she was like, what I think she thinks of me, if I'm going to think, because you took the charitable position, I'm going to take the uncharitable position, what I, what I think in my own head. If, I, if I'm going to just, if, I, if I'm going to be candid, I think, uh, I'm, honestly, I, inv I, I wanted to have a conversation with you because I want to hear your perspective on it and I want people to be able to hear your perspective on it. So go ahead. That. Yeah. Yeah. I think, honestly, in her head, if you are one, black, and two, disagree with her, that is Candace Owens' tendencies. I think that's basically it. If, and if you think about it, and that may sound like super uncharitable, but if you think about it for a second, what other explanation would there be for her thinking the way that she does about me? If I'm just like, not for one, black, and then two, like Candace, uh, one black and two disagree with her. That means I have to be like on anything, really. That means I have to be like Candace Owens, really. It has to be like her, like me being black and me disagreeing with her on specific things has to be like Candace Owens because she thinks that I attack certain people to get like clout or, or money or like recognition, yeah. whether I know it or not from like the white people around me. So that's why I believe what I, what I do. I'm Vosh's pet tap dancing monkey. And so I have to, I have to think like that. And so that's why, and, that's, and so that's why I, 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 I do that whether I want to or not, or think so or not. I play into white supremacy because everything that they believe, because I think what they believe is that they're like, Correct. I've never heard them say that they believe that they're genuinely wrong on a lot of on like the core fundamental or like principles of like the things that they say. So they're right. And they're like not white supremacists. And so if you disagree on anything that four or five percent, that means that you're supporting white supremacy and any deviation from their own personal ideology is supporting white supremacy. And so you're just like Candace Owens, because that supporting white supremacy is like a small baby version, like a small grain of the of the massive monster of the supporting white supremacy that Candace Owens does. And that's what I think they think about me. I do think I hate I, think it's like I genuinely a, like I hate a... these people. I genuinely hate all of them. Gen genuinely all of them. Now, I, I <laughs> after listening to the your conversation with her genuinely, like I kind of forgot I didn't I'm the type of person where I don't like I don't like to hold grudges too much, mm. but I can't like deny how I feel. Right. And I feel about 99% of the anger that I did when I saw those messages originally on Twitter months ago or month or month months ago. Uh -huh. For the first time, I kind of like have two types of anger, the sort of like flash fire anger when you see something yeah. originally that makes you upset and the sort of smoldering anger that takes a long time to put out. And I'm just very it just reminded me of how angry I am at a lot of these people for what they tried to like do or say about me, because I can't think of anything honestly more disrespectful than trying to say that you that you work for the destruction of your mom, your dad, your grandma, your yeah. Your your like your your family members, your little sister, your older brother, your nieces and nephews, your cousins. You're working for their destruction for your own personal gain and money online. I can't think of anything more disrespectful. You probably know exactly how it feels when they tried to call yeah. you a transphobe for thinking for for believing that trans people should be able to be like considered trans no matter what state of like transition they're in. Yeah, no, and I actually appreciate you opening up about that and and being willing to to sort of say how you feel about it because I was going to ask you because that's something that was like uh, that I, I think goes under discussed and I think this is complicated because I think sometimes in these spaces um, and especially this is something that I brought one of the biggest criticisms against the foreign man in a foreign land video which I don't know if you've seen it or not um, regardless one of my critiques was that um, a lot of it seemed to me to boil down to 
uh, personal disagreements that are being justified via a moral or political lens. There is a, um, and, and you actually touched on this here for a second, um, talking about how like um, there's a, a sort of, uh, um, a, a you're either with me or against me type thing where if you disagree on anything because I am in the position of you know the anti-white supremacy that must mean you must be in the pro position and I think that that these all these things kind of link together they kind of lock together to create this uh, this need for personal distaste to be laundered through this political justification and I do think that it produces a really uh, really hurtful outcomes, H outcomes that go above and beyond just like internet shit talking. Because, um, and I brought this up in both the conversation and in my review of, of one of these one of these videos that we're talking about, which was saying that like, I don't really go around policing people talking how they talk about other people very often. Um, I don't, but also it just seems odd to me when you could just say, I think this person's a fucking idiot and here are my reasons. And instead it becomes, no, this person is like someone who is a danger, someone who does not deserve a platform, someone who needs to be like excised from X community. I find that it gets really hurtful. And what you touched on there is, is like, I mean, I know firsthand how much that kind of shit hurts. Like, I'm not saying that there aren't some people out there who uh, are doing the things that people that 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 are being lobbed at 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 yourself and myself in other cases. Like, obviously, I do think that there are people who are willing to sell trans people out for their own personal gain. Um, I I and I think that I when I bring up somebody like that, um, I'm willing to come with the evidence of that. But I just feel like it's a off the cuff and very, very hurtful and very hyperbolic and also very reputation damaging thing. Um, and to sort of wrap off what I was trying to say there, I think it's really hurtful. And I think uh, it makes these spaces uh, toxic because I think that it hurts not only the, um, you know, the general discourse in the space, but the individual creators. It drives people to burnout. It drives people to being in bad emotional states for no reason based on uh trumped up allegations that that don't have you know strong um you know uh strong foundations in truth and i think that's fucked up and i don't like it i think it's bad um and i i i i can't help but feel like a lot of sympathy and empathy for you in in the way that you talked about that because i i've definitely felt that myself um and um, yeah, so I guess I just wanted to to, to say that, I guess. Um, I one second, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, yeah. I had to grab my, I had to grab my hand strengthening tool. I noticed oh, yeah, I was no grinding my teeth. I'm yeah, angry, I mean, so I had, to, I had to grab that. Uh, I've been, you know, to, 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 to step out of the specific situation for just a second, I've, I've talked about this extensively, like, um, the, what you're talking, your teeth grinding, but, but like, uh, uh, the physical and emotional, uh, effects that these spaces can have are, um, they are very, very difficult to deal with. Um, and I've been streaming for three years now. Uh, and I've been through some really crazy shit. I've had some people do some absolutely deranged shit against me. Uh, and the, the stress is unbelievably difficult to deal with. And it's funny because even, um, I think FD signifier mentioned this explicitly in one of his videos, um, a video, which I also had critiques for, um, based on the factuality of some of the claims, but I think everyone excuse me, can acknowledge the, the physical um, and mental effects that this has. And I feel like that should prompt people to think more deeply about how willing they are to make certain allegations and, and, and should prompt people to uh, evidence their claims more deeply, especially when we know how fast everything moves in these spaces, that your reputation can be damaged, that, that, um, that, you know, uh, Cer especially with certain allegations, certain allegations can hurt so much and, and they can, they detract from, from everything and your ability to stream. I mean, I, I've talked to my stream very candidly this year about, 
um, how I've been trying to defeat a habit that I didn't even notice had formed, where in so many of my videos, I, I was over explaining myself because I felt this passive perpetual pressure that I was going to be, um, that there was people who were going to take me out of context and, and, and jump on me. And even though that doesn't happen not most of the time, the fact that it's happened so egregiously in certain situations was negatively, it had built a habit in my mind that I hadn't even noticed that was negatively impacting my ability to make content, to have joy in the content that I was making, in the stuff that I was cared about because I felt like I was constantly second guessing myself. And it took me a long time to even realize that it happened. And I think it's like, I think it's something that a lot of people experience. And I do think that these, what we've been talking about here, these sorts of incredibly hurtful and uh, hyperbolic statements, especially when they're based off of no evidence or low evidence or really shaky evidence, um, I feel like they, they cause that, you know? They like make that shit happen, like hard. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. I, I know that was a little rambly. No, they do. Um, I don't know. When like the when 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 like the click and everything, like Soul Bunny, the Wicked Witch of the West, and her troop of flying nondescript mammals came after me. I I was just like I don't really know necessarily <sighs> I felt like really slighted, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh -huh. Because I feel like I've treated them incredibly well for the most part. Like I, I leaked my DMs with uh with flowers and everything in, 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 in the video I made. And it was just like they reached out to me and was like, I saw your thing. I know you don't I know you don't I know you disagree with me, but I th think I can explain myself better and I want to and I'm gonna be making another video. If you don't like me after that, then that's fine. And I was like, It's fine, I'm perfectly fine. Even though I had some stuff to d disagree with you with, I completely understand um and i'm and if you make it i'll listen to it i can't find myself to have a lot of hatred for somebody um who wants to make the world a better place and then after that they block me uh -huh. and everything i never reached out to them i never spoke about them ever again after that after that situation uh -huh. and and then and then afterwards just with with everything going on with some people coming into my own chat to try to like screech slurs at me and then getting mad that they got banned by like the auto mod and and everything and then all of these people afterwards to like play the victim and then farm content and and clout off of like uh, off of uh, like uh, the the apparent of my apparent suffering um and everything thankfully i didn't suffer that much uh with wow. through through like all of this like monetarily or like reputationally thankfully everything was was perfectly fine i have a really good community and i can thank them for that and i um i think i i think in in, in the midst of it i think i lost uh, it was the I think it was the third day in in the history of my channel that I've ever lost subscribers, and I think I lost wow. seventeen. I lost seventeen subscribers that day, and when I dropped so, my video, I gained an extra seven hundred. So okay. thankfully, yeah. So thankfully, everything was like mostly okay. But it's I don't really care much. If I'm gonna be, I don't really care much about the career harming thing or like the personal harming harming thing. Wow. It's just like I feel like I put. I gave them enough benefit of the doubt and I was like good enough to them. And then the way that they just treated me after that, just, it just filled, it just really filled me with rage. And I'm still yeah. very angry about them. I genuinely like, I <laughs> hate all of these people. And I, I, and just like moving forward, I don't really want to speak to any of them ever again. I know like, yeah. and, and shout out to everybody on like that, um, that like now a bit old, like FD stream where he talked about like the flying milk type thing and like shout out to all of the black people who went on there to like to like defend my honor or whatever where they were like i think calling shark this then the third is like pretty up honestly and i don't think that you should say anything along those lines and i think i think it's great and everything but like it's 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 more like it's, it's on it's, it's less of a youtuber level and it's more on like a human level of like yeah it shows me what's in their heart and what they what 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 they would like do to me because even on the Ty Herb stuff like I only I never spoke to Ty Herb outside of like the, the the Twitter back and forth but I did like um, some of you will remember us talking about tokenization and like me being like talking about to being tokenized or or like oh. if I'm tokenizer my opinions on that because I don't talk about this stuff like super often if if I'm gonna be honest with you and. Um, I, I used his video because he did he did talk about me in, in that video. So he, it was another one of those like 
mini mini like 15 second clips where they just like bring me up for like the the shortest amount of time and then they never talk about me ever again i guess they only they only like bring me up for a second to either like take a swipe at me or then or like comprom or like say that my position in in the space is compromised and they only and you all only allow me here because i'm 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 i'm, I'm the local I'm, I'm the local darky uh, so you all can use as your own personal shield to shield you all from racism or whatever. That's my only uh, usefulness here for 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 anybody in the space. That's that's the only thing that they think about me. And I was just like, I brought up his video to specifically talk about like I'm glad that there's other like younger like my age black people in this space, wow. and I would like to like connect through content a bit. I didn't even criticize his video. I linked to the video. I said it's a good video. I had like a couple of things to say about the way that he used the the term like tokenization, and I wanted to wow. touch on it because I hadn't had a, an opportunity to talk about tokenization outside of like a conservative talking about it. And now I can talk about it in the space. I thought yeah. it was really interesting and really cool. And then he used that as an attack against me to say that I like tore tore up his video after it. It's just I don't I don't I don't know what to I don't know what else to do for a lot of these monsters. Honestly, I can't think of them as anything else but monsters for how they for how they treated me. And so I had to like and so I had to block literally all of them. I blocked all of them and I continue to block more of them even still today. I had an extra like 4000 people to my block list and I think that's honestly like the best thing moving forward because I used to Sometimes it is the, sometimes it is the only bit, thing you like, can do. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be a little bit like I, I talked to them a little bit. I was like in, in the like middle space. I'm kind of like you a little bit in that like little middle space in between yeah. like the two communities. But like I can't find I can't bring myself to hate somebody that I have like some slight disagreements disagreements with when they want like most of the stuff that we do. And I don't yeah. feel like talking about a lot of the, the disagreements that we have in the space, honestly, is super important because I don't think a lot of them are super like important to talk about. I feel like it's just like farming content to farm content because it seems bigger to you because it's in your personal space. But at the end yeah. of the day, I don't think it's like means that much on, a, on like a like global scale level i would rather like dunk on a ben shapiro video than dunk on a leftist video if i'm gonna be honest with you most yeah. of the time yeah, and i just and and, and and so i'm just like man what do i do and so i i just had to come to the conclusion that i just need to break off from all of these people and never talk to them again i i, I just can't I, I i like i'm still like when when this has happened i was i was thinking to myself i have like a to judge how mad i am i helped it it was put together with for me with like a therapist um uh, like a little while ago i had like a little list of some questions I asked myself to judge how mad I am. And like the last big question on there is if I was dying of an uncurable disease and one of these and one of these people was the only person with the antidote and I just had to reach out and ask for it um, to get it, would I do it? And my aunt and I honestly I had trouble answering yes. And I still to this very day have trouble answering yes. I think I would rather die than speak to a lot of these people ever again in my life. Um, and I, I just I, I can't imagine reaching out to any of these people who with, with the hubris, with the antagonism, with the hate that like wells in their heart to like leave them be like around me or my community ever again. I just can't fathom doing that because they just don't care about anything besides making other people suffer and making money off of other people suffering. And that's basically it, especially with that foreign video, like farming content off of like Keffels and Vosh and, and whatever calling me a slur in the video again specifically just to get more people into your boring ass dry ass poorly put together poorly scripted shitty video that that barely said anything or added anything new to the situation and then changing the thumbnail after you get after you got your your clout and your 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 little like um clout bucks off of it i just think it, like it's it's just crazy i still that's the only video i've ever made um, me responding to them that's the only video i've ever made on this shit as they continue making videos calling me slurs yeah, and and hating on me if I, and i'm not like, doing anything it, it it was something that i brought up in the foreign man in my react to the foreign man video was just that like um making you as a, 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 a your face you as a person like an in joke to me just it's so weird to me it comes off as so unhealthy and uh i i can completely i never talk with about you. these people yeah. i literally never refer to these people and i know they're in their little group chats like calling me slurs and and making like little slave edits of me and saying and saying that i'm i'm, I'm like the bread tubes pet monkey and shit like that and i know that's all i know that's all they do and how they love to spend their time and i just can't imagine like like yeah there's yeah there's great groiper ass mentality honestly if I'm going to be honest with you, and you don't have to agree with that. No, I mean, like... I, I don't, I don't, I'm not in disagreement with the idea, like, like the toxicity of this shit. I, I've been on the record. As, I mean, again, I don't know if you watched my reaction to the foreign man video. I was not kind. I was uh, very harsh to that video. Uh, in fact, I believe I said it was uh, the worst 
video essay that I've seen since DJ Mule's uh, disgusting hit piece against Xander Hall, which was just uh, trash, just a trash fire. Um, the I, I thought the video was extremely poorly evidenced. I felt like it was hurtful. Uh, I felt like it was off-putting to anybody who isn't already in their sort of uh, uh, like it's a, like an in joke of of re referring to another creator as a slur to me like that comes off as just like extremely weird and parasocial and petty and off putting. Um, I was very harsh on that video and I think that like I'm not gonna lie I think that the like incentivization of of um, you know uh, of 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 this of like. Um, I don't know, like running by uh, 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 people on the internet and slapping them. And then those people uh, happen to be your personal enemies. So you boost the shit out of a video. Uh, anybody who will do a video slapping people that you don't like, you're going to boost the fuck out of it and, and, and chump and, 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 you know, uh, chunk it up because you think it's going to be, you know, uh, uh, you know, because that's that's good because it's like a, a, you're doing a moral good by fighting against the bad guy who happens to be... I, I think that shit is destroying the space, which, I mean... And maybe I've maybe I've come off as as maybe uh, too too even handed in some of this. I'm I've I have tried to I, I've mostly wanted to just hear what you have to say about things and you know be able to facilitate that in some degree. But this toxicity is something I've been ranting about uh, for a long time. I even did a video earlier about a different a different subject, but that was very similar thematically. Um, this is a stream from back in. February, which I called the uh, sky burial for the Twitter left, which was explicitly talking about how I just think that that a lot of it is done. It's just done for. It's not growing as a space and it can't grow because there's just too much toxicity. There is too much willingness to basically just uh, launder uh, interpersonal frustrations that are uh, not well grounded into uh, moral issues, moral crusades that I think are incredibly hurtful. So. No, I, 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 I do agree with a lot of what you've said. I do think that there's a lot of hurtfulness going on, and I do think it's horrific behavior. Um, I don't think it's helpful to anybody, and I don't think it's productive. I guess my hope is just that um, the majority of people who are going to be listening to us right now talking about this and the majority of people who are going to be listening to the Soul Bunny conversation and my reaction to foreign and all of this stuff is going to be people who are in these spaces. And I want to hopefully get them to think about these things on as deep of a level as possible. And I think the only way that you do that is by, I don't know, I don't know, talking like this, if that makes sense. Maybe not, maybe yeah. I'm wrong about that. I just, I just think I can't, I can't be connected to any of these people anymore. I don't think they're going to really change. Yeah. Um, I just think, I think they're monsters. <laughs> And if they can they can keep making videos and they can keep doing their thing if they say something good It's good if they say something bad. It's bad. Somebody asked like what did Jesse do? That was wrong. She boosted two videos both calling me slurs um, And and like shout out the creators and said they was so epic that they that, that, that they owned um, that, that, that they owned uh, the, this like I did find so, that so an incredibly hard. weird thing to do um, in Yeah, my and so I was uh, I, I even if... talked about that. I said that I thought it was extremely weird that there were uh, multiple larger creators um, uh, uh, gassing up, not just not just boosting the video itself, but taking the time afterwards to literally, in my opinion, love bomb foreign man after he did a video slapping at their at their personal enemies on the internet. I find that to be very weird. I, I think that's an incredibly strange dynamic and uh, it comes across as toxic and uh, really petty. And of course, given the content of those videos, hurtful and deranged. I don't know. I think these creatures really only care about their their click and yeah. their and, and the amount of content that they can make. And I think their goal is to try to like snuff us out with making content. And I don't really in like trying to call us slurs and trying to specifically me try to like take down my reputation to make me seen as like a, a pariah to, because like I'm not I'm not black enough and I'm I'm just I'm just a silly darky who needs to know his place under all of them because I really think like especially with her going on uh, like soul bunny going on your on, on your program and being like 
oh, both sides are just so terrible. Both sides have done this. Both sides have done that. Both sides have done so much. Both sides, both sides have done. Both sides haven't done anything near as much as what they're saying. Both sides isn't anywhere near as bad, especially on this issue. Absolutely not. Oh, I can't believe everybody made such a big deal about me calling this other black creator a slur. How could oh, both sides are always so mad. I've never seen any. I've I've never seen anybody on my side, especially from my community, say anything like that about her. I haven't seen anybody from my community say anything that terrible. I know people from my yeah. from her community who came up making slave edits about me and saying how I would I, I would fucking like torture to death uh, black people if it if it made like my my white like uh, the stream counterparts giggle a little bit or some shit like that. These, these people are genuinely insane. I, I don't I don't know some... what to do more with them anymore. I, I don't know what to do with them anymore. It's I don't know. I, I want to block them and I want to move on. Yeah. And I think moving on, I think I want to understand. And it makes me really sad. All of this makes me ing like I'm angry, but I'm not only angry honestly i'm really sad yeah that this whole thing made me incredibly sad because i i like i'm there aren't many black people in this space and i thought it was really fun and nice to have extra black people in this space honestly and i, I think agree. it's really and i think it's really great and even in and, and, and I still do today i just think that the people who are here are uncouth and unscrupulous and uncaring uh, tittering maniacs who only care about hurting other people and making money off of other people's suffering, especially ones on the left. And I just don't know what to do with that besides just cut myself off of them and move. Yeah. I can't tell, I haven't talked about this publicly at all before, but in, in the making of my video, at first it was very solemn and it was very serious. Um, and I, I recorded, I think at least four, it turned out to be like an hour long video. I think I recorded like four hours worth of content in total. And I, and I, and I deleted, the first script was the first script I was giving them back the same energy that they gave me on the situations that that they criticized me on. I was spitting because every single message, every single comment that they like make about me is coded in venom. Mm -hmm. Literally every single one, and you may have picked up on it as well. Yeah, there's I have. no they uh, I mean, have, they will never speak about me if it's not covered in venom, and that's all they they spit at me. And so I was just like, I I was giving them back the same energy. I was going to tear them apart, honestly. I I, I mentioned how um, like Soul Bunny is like friends and like chum around with people who genuinely like made jokes and and cackle at like Eden Knight's death or her, her like killing, right? And she's genuinely like friends with some of these people online. And I mentioned that. I was going to mention so much more, but I cut it because I felt like I'm a role model. I'm a role model to smaller black creators and people who want to get into the space i'm a role model to them i've had so many come out actually in in private in public in chat in in like dms and be like i i love the way that you that, that you take things you're so level-headed you're so nice you're so kind you're so smart and you're you're this you're that and obviously they're fans so they would think that but they're and they're like you got me to want to get into this space and if i can be like a trailblazer if i could be one of the first like reasonably because i'm not i don't think i'm huge i'm like a reason like middle oh, middle size successful. content creator you've done really well you got a play button that's awesome well, I, I i i appreciate you i'm in the grand scheme i'm not i'm not anything too crazy no, but, I, I like, get that but i get staying humble yeah. but also hey you're doing good i think that's I a good thing you. i think i mean a play button is that's that's fucking great so anyway not yeah. to interrupt you yeah no it's fine it's just that i i i when when i when i was recording some of the things that i said about them like in in my head, I, I I thought about like those other smaller black creators, and I was like, or like you know, what, um, aspiring creators, and I was like, I can't do that. I can't respond like they do because I don't want them to think that this is like an appropriate way necessarily to to act, because because I know they're going to use it as an example because I'm one of the only like people that they can pull from in this situation. So I had to. I had to tone it back and bite my tongue on a lot of things. And I still have, and even in this conversation I have as well. Um, Cause honestly, some of the things I was going to say, we're, we're going to get the video demonetized and I was perfectly fine with that. But I just, I, I decided to, I decided to pull back a lot on, 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 on some things. Cause I, it's just, I, I know they're going to look at it and then be like, this is something that we can just, you know, do or act like, because I, I am one of the only and, and or the biggest, like I am the biggest black creator in, in this space. And so if I'm going to have to, no matter if I like it or not, I'm going to have to set an example for them. And so I, I decided to tone it, tone it down and be more respectful and be more calm with everything, even though I was on fire the entire time. And honestly, I still am. And, yeah, and, and it's I, just, I do feel like I, I do feel and, like and I'm sucks. comfortable saying like, um, 
I don't think that there's been an, I don't think that that type of restraint um, has been shown towards you. Um, uh, I, I, from, I've seen so much uh, uh, stuff that's been directed at you that I would categorize as just uh, next level hurtful things that I would. Yeah, like one of the things I brought up is like they I didn't even mention it too much because they didn't even know about it that much because I deleted it. I I um there was this one there was this one person online who was like, uh, who was trying to like co-op us like trying to make um make it more known about what happened with Eden, uh -huh. and was like making a bunch of like really terrible hurtful like even transphobic comments. Uh -huh. And I, I shot back and I said, you need, I, I called her a niggerita, if I'm going to be honest. And I said it because it was, for one, I said it because it was a funny word. Um, if I'm going to be honest with you. And I'd say it again, but, but and, and it, I don't think it's like a slur, honestly. But, and it was just funny. But I deleted it. And the reason why I deleted it, not because I didn't agree with it, if I'm going to pull a soul bunny here, I didn't, I didn't delete it, not because I disagreed with it. I deleted it actually because I didn't want other like white people to like it, thinking that that's an okay thing to say, mm. honestly. I didn't want them to, to co-sign. I didn't like the idea of, of like just random white other people, creators, viewers, followers, like liking that and being able to co-sign it because I don't think that that's something that they should co-sign. And so I deleted the tweet. But if their I could tweets take a moment about like- here real quick, just to, just to, to, for pure fairness's take, when I, when I uh, uh, pushed back on some of the things that, uh, that Soul Bunny had said about you, I wanted to give her the opportunity to describe her reasoning for saying something so harsh. Do you mind uh, giving me your reasoning for why you would say something so harsh? Yeah, because they were they were trying to move attention away from um, uh, co-op and discourage people from talking about Eden's murder and and taking air out of the room for that and basically saying that people who are who are continuing to advocate for knowing about what happened to her in this way are a detriment to like um other trans people black people things along those lines so that's why i said what i said now other people now you can disagree for, with for just, what was said i don't quick, remember ex uh, exactly what was said if just so i can give some context to the people in chat who may not be familiar with this um eden uh, uh was a trans woman who um was trafficked and then committed suicide who was friends with a lot of people in these spaces um, um, to my knowledge, she was not a, uh, like a content creator. She was, uh, somebody who was just had a lot of friends in these places, uh, in these sort of social circles. And it was an incredibly, um, horrific and tragic incident. Um, and it involved, uh, some very powerful and rich family members, um, hiring a firm that is more or less designed to, um, harass and surveil someone uh, uh, so that they cannot transition. Um, it was a really horrible situation, and I don't think there's any ambiguity about that. Um, just, I just wanted to provide that context so people knew what you were talking, you know, what you're talking about when you refer to that situation. Um, sure, no problem. It's good context for some people who don't know. So yeah, if I'm going to be honest with you, I, I spoke out of anger and I don't like tweeting out of anger. So I deleted it for two reasons. One, because I spoke it, spoke of it out of anger. And two, I spoke, I spoke um, in, in a way that is just like a black person to a black person that I, in a way that I don't want other like people to co-sign and think that, that that's okay to use, to think that that's okay for something for them to say. If I can say something on my stream and then just say it, then it's just my words. But when it comes to like a tweet or something, then they can like like it or co-sign and then I have people thinking about whether they should or shouldn't like it. I don't think they should, so they so I deleted it. And I, and I didn't and also I kind I kind of didn't want like more stuff to to go to more people to like look at their shit and, and, and go to them and stuff like that. So I uh, so 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 that's the reason. That's that's the reason why. It, I just thought it was I don't know, I just thought it was sick if I'm going to be honest with you. I was just angry and I and I thought it was sick. So I so so I said it, but yeah, I deleted it because I didn't want that to happen. But they didn't delete any of their stuff because they truly believe it, and they're perfectly fine with people like Jesse co-opting. Sorry, Jesse, um, um, co-signing, calling me uh, the c word, and um, and basically a race traitor, and um, and and a tap dancing monkey for uh for bread tube. I definitely find basically, um, and I just think it's yeah, I that just, to I be just think a, it's sick. a a a an incredibly toxic dynamic that's going on here that I find wildly at odds with other things that have been said um, by people, by, by Jesse Gender specifically and by 
other people uh, who who tend to work with Jesse Gender, I feel like it, it goes against what they tend to generally make arguments for. I find it really odd, um, and that's something I've found continually odd is um, is this constant justification. I mean, even when I, I now look, I I can acknowledge completely. Um, obviously, my my, the color of my skin is not exactly invisible to people. I don't make that a secret. So I don't really have any sort of uh, life experience when it comes to slurs like the sea slur or anything like that. that You're I white Hispanic. On. It's okay. <laughs> but um, but uh, when I when I hear stuff like that, I think I, I can understand, at least from a – even from an outside perspective, I can understand why a word like that would be very hurtful. Why And I believe and I have seen and I actually – Believe it or not, uh, uh, cards on the table here. A couple of years ago, a very similar discourse to this uh, uh, sprouted up around another content creator uh, in the debate space at the time. I'm not going to like spend a lot of time naming names. And a very similar discourse around the sea slur specifically came up. And um, I spent a lot of time listening to different perspectives on that um, and hearing how people felt about it. And I just don't believe the idea um, when people tell me, oh, well, um, everybody feels like everyone, every, every black person thinks it's okay because I, that's not what I've seen. I've listened and heard that that is not the case. And also the, the meaning of the word to me does not sound like something that everyone would be okay with. And when I try to compare a, 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 a parallel experience to me, like, um, there are, there are all kinds of slurs for trans people. Um, and I don't use any of them for anybody else. I don't even use the more acceptable ones. I don't even, I, I've said this before. I call myself a f all the time. I don't call anybody else a f I'm on, I'm on Twitch. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I didn't know you were, I didn't Listen, know that we'll was just, a problem we'll on just, Twitch. We'll it's self-referential, we'll right? You can't say that. I'm so sorry. You can't say that. No, you can't say that I did not know either. that. I'm very, very you sorry. May have been a, you may have been able to say like, maybe with like an A or O sound on the end, but I can't say the hard R here. I'm so um, sorry. Either. I did not realize we'll just, that. That is my bad and I am I'll so just, sorry. I mean, it's I okay. If I just can... I mean, it was, it w I mean, maybe, may, maybe not. I don't know. I'll, I'm recording this, so if anything happens, I'll still have it. But okay, um, I, I will. I, we'll, we'll I apologize. See. It was self-referential, purely. Uh, I, I when I was last streaming on Twitch, that was okay. Um, I did not get in trouble when I used to do that on Twitch. I'm very I sorry. We'll, I we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's okay. Um, it's okay. When FD came on my stream, he said the N word hard R. So okay, it well, I'm really sorry about that, and I apologize. The stream Twitch, is slur so Please, I'm sorry about that. Um, Dude, please, but, let but, me uh, go. But uh, but yeah. Um, what I was gonna say is, like, I would never. I don't use that for other people. I I I mm -hmm. I, I, I can be, because I can understand um, even heavily reclaimed words um, sometimes don't fly. Words like queer, which is generally accepted now, there are still people who don't feel well with that. And if they ask me with that one, it's, it's so reclaimed that I'm fine with using it most of the time. But if somebody were to say, "Hey, I don't feel great about that word," I would say, well, "I'm sorry. I'll make sure I don't use that." Um, and that's with a word that doesn't, that hasn't had like a negative connotation for a very long time. Um, mm -hmm. and is, has been all, I think has very, been very reclaimed. So I, I don't know. And so I find it so odd that there's like such a resistance to like you saying, Hey, that's, that's a, that's too fucking far. That's hurtful and harsh and ridiculous. And I think it's weird that there's such a defensiveness when, uh, even if it's not yourself, but people who view you say, hey, that's fucking really harsh to say to somebody else. Um, I find it weird that there's such a pushback to that because it seems to me like there's just a, a willingness to bend over backwards to justify s such a harsh term, s s such a loaded term that has such a history. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they care. I think they just like hurting people. And if and the funnier they can hurt somebody, the 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 funnier it is. And the more they hurt, the more uh, the more they try and hurt you, the more um, uh, the more justified they are. I think that's just it. I think it's same. It's just monsters. Yeah. But at the but at the end of the day, like moving forward, honestly, I think um. I I think just going just straight up no contact is probably the 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 safest situation with everything. Not allowing them to to like talk back and forth not allowing them to like reach out to me because like the I, I view all of these people simply as bullies and the in the the number one thing that bullies want is to be is to have access to their victims uh -huh. and so if i could just cut off all contact the 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 there's less issues between me and them uh -huh. and the more i think they could probably spend time using it 
um, in ways that I that are beneficial towards like the left and making people's lives better and less, you know, screeching about how I um, f uh, like two years ago said I disagreed with this one half black person this one time over 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 one video, honestly. And I just think that's probably the the best thing. And I and I know and you know and I know you've spoken to like a like some of these people. I know you're like cordial with Joe and I know you're cordial with um. Yeah. Soul Bunny. So yeah, once again, I don't, I don't, I don't need you to distance yourself from anybody. Just for me oh, personally, it just seems like I don't think they can, I don't think they can act normally around me. So maybe like around you or other people, they can act normally around, but I don't think they can act normally around me. So I have to, yeah, I, I have to cut, cut off um communication there. And, it, and once I, again, and I it is clear, sad again, because my I, goal I, has never been to 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 try and encourage you to to you or anyone. Soul Bunny or, or, or you or anyone I've talked to about in this to, to like encourage you to have contact with people who you don't feel good about. That's not my goal at all. Oh, yeah, know, I just I just mean you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to get you to stop oh, talking no. to I anybody. Mean, I, I don't really I don't really play that kind of game. I mean, I, I said pretty clearly to, to Soul Bunny, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of people who don't like me and I, I've been blocked by um, by. Uh, some of the people who who are associated with promoting these videos and stuff, with no with really no reason, even though I had previously good engagements with them, uh, I know that there are people who do not like me and who will not engage with me simply because I don't play the game of like the association game. I don't. Uh, I mean, I'm friend. I'm real real world friends with Vosh. I've I've criticized Vosh in the past, and I'm still friends with him. And a lot of people have been very angry about me with with that. There was a, as we all know, with Vosh, there's like a, there's a whole thing. There's a whole, there's a whole history of people who don't like Vosh and are very vocal about it and will not associate with anyone who associates with him. And I just don't, I don't care. Uh, if th those people are not the type of people that I'm trying to attract to my uh, project, uh, I I don't care if people are like, I don't know. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't really do that type of shit. So you don't got to worry about that. Um, you know, sure. yeah. I can understand I, I, why yeah, you would just... want to talk with any of them. And I completely get that. And I mean, I've had good conversation. I've had two, two what I would consider friendly uh, conversations with Soul Bunny, but I don't really know Soul Bunny that well. Um, we're not like friends or anything. We've just talked on, you know, one occasion a long time ago and one more recently. I, ha I do have a history with Joe. You know, I've talked with Joe for a long time. And, I, and you know, uh, it's a shame that, that you two don't get along, but that happens, you know? Yeah. yeah. He said I was anti-black because I said that black people don't really like the hood that much after Endless Cemetery said that black people actually love the hood um, and, and shit like that. Also, he took out of context me um giving an example of how um if i said if i said that all of these things that are typically associated with like gang or well, sorry if all these things that are typically associated with like hood or ghetto black culture um was like and i said that i didn't if, if i gave the example so if i said hypothetically that i wouldn't want my family members to end or my children to end up like this i think that would be racist he would say um it, it was an example to like that tweet that was like, I don't want my family to end up like this. And it's like a black guy who had a loving relationship with a white woman and then they had children. Uh, I remember that. And then the, the kid was whole... slightly lighter. I think I yeah. reacted to your conversation with uh, with Endless Cemeteries on that. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I, but they, yeah, I, yeah, I don't call me anti black I, for cards for on the shit. table. But... I don't think, I think Endless Cemetery really doesn't like me. Um, I've been blocked for a while. Um, I mean, I could, I, I could talk about what got me blocked. Uh, it was. I, I, I mean, honestly, but, I think like creatures yeah. of the night don't like the light, so it makes it makes a lot of sense. I think roaches, when once you flick on the the light in the kitchen, crawl back under the fridge. So it makes a lot of sense why. Personally, well, I mean, I can't go that far. <laughs> I don't have the same history with him that you do, but I, I just know he doesn't. I know he's not. I know he wasn't pleased with me, and uh, I don't feel the reason was very fair personally. But you know, whatever people got their reasons, so you know. Um, but yeah um it's just it's just it's just wild stuff and i um i don't know yeah just like the conversation you had like really sparked my my interest in talking about this again because i personally like after i dropped my video and everything i kind of separated myself from everything i stopped talking about it i did like a, a little like 30 minute speech a little bit on my and answering some questions afterwards um in in like the comment section of the video and on stream a little bit but i've never really opened up about this too much yeah and so i thought it would be a good opportunity um, and also, if you have any other questions, like for me about about anything, let me know. And I did also want to 
uh, answer any com- uh, questions from your community, and I guess mine yeah, as well, to um, this because I mean, they, they haven't had the opportunity to really ask some, me anything. Some questions from the community. Um, but I mean, also, uh, I just want to make sure, you know, we've talked about everything that, that you wanted to talk about. On, oh, sure. This I, we don't have to end here. I was just, I was just oh, saying, because yeah, okay. I never I just, got to tell you yeah. that. Well, I mean, I, I, I've also been, you know, I, I, from my perspective in this, I'd never planned to have a conversation with Soul Bunny. It just happened. I was reacting to the Foreign Man video. And the reason why I even chose to, to react was because I had taken uh, a really long uh, sort of break between my streams because I did like a crazy long stream. And my timeline mm-hmm. across multiple websites was full of th- this video and people talking about this video. And um, when I looked into like the basic, you know, gist of the video, I was like, oh my God, we're relitigating noodle stuff. And, um, and then I heard that there was a joke made against you and I'm like, oh my God, we're doing this again. And so uh, I, I, st- I, I just kept my eye on it for a couple of days and there were so many people talking about it. And I, when I say on both sides here, I'm not like, I don't, I don't mean it in the same way. Like I'm not trying to say who was being more toxic yeah. or not. I'm just, I mean, no, no, it's okay. I, I when, mean, I when saw something... debate people, debate people talking about it. I saw all of the people that I still follow and who still, uh, who still, uh, talk to me and whatever in the, uh, the video essayist kind of sphere, which I admittedly, a lot of them don't talk to me anymore, even if they haven't explicitly said they don't like me, uh, whatever. Yeah, when videos um, like that pop up, it's either really important or absolutely nothing. Yeah. When yeah. everyone's talking about a video, it's either, it means it's really important for us all to know a little something about this, or it's super interesting, or it's absolutely nothing and it's just like drama fodder. And I was um, surprised it's, fly, it was it's going more for flies like for the drama days. frogs. Like, I mean, it was nine days after that I finally reacted to it. When I got to it, I was just like, I felt terrible about the video. I felt like it was, um, I mean, I was very vocal with my critiques and I'm perfectly fine with stating them again here. Uh, I felt like um, now the title has been changed, um, which I can't help but feel was in in reaction to my, I made that critique the day that it got, the day before it got changed. Or rather my video went live. Uh, the day that it w- that it got changed, which was this idea that like this is a video that's titled "When You're Racist But But Queer," but almost none of the examples of people, except for you know an interpersonal beef with Vosh and and, and Keffels, were queer people. Um, there was like one, I think it was um, Jesse Smollett, and maybe you could you could say Ellen DeGeneres, t- you know, slightly, but almost nothing was said about Ellen DeGeneres. Almost the, all of the rest of the people were straight people. And it's almost like I, nothing was ever said at, at all in that video. It's crazy. It was it was definitely very weird. Um, the evidence was very light for accusations that were made. Uh, Keffels was um, uh, was implied to be and heavily. Uh, I mean, it was was called racist. Um, and the only evidence that was shown on screen um, was uh, uh, unrelated. To, to allegations of racism was something about noodles, which I think is completely absurd. And I think anybody in their right mind, I don't care who you are, anybody in their right mind should know. Well, do you know about that situation? Of course I do. Yeah, I've had uh, like, it's yeah, it's, insane. It's, it's ridiculous. It's it's absurd. And it's the one wait, that- Wait, for I'm... the people who don't know, wait, super quick. For the people who don't know, basically what happened is that there was uh, this, um, I think Vietnamese girl, who said that this white woman who went to China to learn how to make noodles from uh, professional like noodle making chefs in Beijing? She was making like she was learning how to make like bong bong mian or something. Filipina, yeah. This Filipino girl got mad at a white woman from America about going to China to learn how to make bong bong mian um, and writing a book about it. And and then Keffels, a Canadian woman, it was like. That's that's actually fine because the noodles taste good and it's perfectly okay. And then the and then the girl was like, "You're racist." Also, I don't even like Chinese food, and it's just crazy to me how I actually, if I'm gonna be honest, like here's my hot take. If here's my hot take, Miss Demon Mama. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think this shit's racist. I think it's I think it's racist on their end for all of this stuff, and the reason being is because they try to hold up this girl and her opinion, her her Filipino self as like a stand-in for actual chinese people like for some reason a filipino has any has any word on what like on chinese culture at all especially when she doesn't never been to china and doesn't even like chinese food shit sounds racist as f-
like can you imagine like a like a japanese person being talked to of, like talking about how other people are being racist about korean things and they don't even know anything that they're talking about and then being held up as some sort of like bulwark there's no reason that she knows anything more about chinese culture than than like uh than like some canadian uh the woman does if i'm going to be honest with you just because they're in like similar areas doesn't mean I, shit i i uh, that is definitely a hot take. I mean, I do, I, I can see where you're coming from. I don't know if I'd go that far, but especially because I think that the person who did the original post, like, if I'm not mistaken, uh, like said, oh, I can't believe that this was, a, that my shit post went this viral. Um, so as I understand it, it was like a, a it was a shit post. It, wasn't it was a meme be, that they, that they took up and they have no so they weren't even way like, to speak on Chinese people. And then they yeah. ran with it as like genuine racism. Which, I can't, I'm telling you, these people are monsters. They're creatures. They're animals. They're freaks. They're troglodytes. And I hate them. And they only care about hurting other people. I think they're, there's two things. Okay. I yeah. think they're either stupid or evil and it's, it's one of it's one of the two and i think we like to say people are stupid because it's an easy cop out but i think somebody not knowing what they're doing and just being stupid is is like it's way too much of a they're giving them way too much credit i think they're. Evil. i mean i don't I think, think any of the people, people that we've talked about here are stupid i i don't so i mean you're right uh, so i think yeah. they're evil but you have I mean, your own opinion i i think that uh i i don't want to believe that everybody's evil but i can completely understand where you're coming from with that with that especially because i have not uh, for the most part, uh, been the target of their ire as of yet. That may change. Um, I've certainly caught a couple of mysterious blocks that, uh, that, that I was just like, what the fuck's going on here? Why is this? Um, and I have caught the ire of other people at various times. Um, but most of the people involved in this, I have no direct, like, interpersonal beef with. Um, and... Uh, that doesn't mean that I don't think that a lot of the things that they've done here are are bad. Like, I mean, I do think it's fucking weird. I think it's fucking weird and toxic, um, like I mentioned, to, like, boost the shit out of a video that's just going hard on somebody that you just don't like, uh, but while framing it as some sort of, like, political act or a great act of community. I think that's very misleading. I think it's toxic as fuck. I think it's a really, really shitty behavior. I just... I, I hope that it's a matter of bad space habits that can be fixed, that people can move away from, that people can change, that it doesn't keep going on. But maybe it's not. I know that it's, that it, there has been, I think I've lived point, through the death of a space before. I've lived through yeah. the total death of a space. And I know that sometimes that's the only thing that can happen. Sometimes a space gets so toxic that there's nothing to do but the space die. That's it. But I like to believe yeah. that maybe I don't know. that's it's not just, the case. I think that just what i i think when they and, and they've done, and you've probably seen this as well okay uh -huh. when they're like oh this this bread tube space this debate bro space is so terrible they have terrible people like vosh and xander hall and they're all evil and that's the only people they mention right and now it's yeah. keffels so now it's keffels vosh. is a new one yeah. yeah you know it was like vosh zan and keffels and that's oh the only people who are here and that's the only people who they care about and then like everybody else is just like fodder and they're little tap dancing monkeys who nobody cares about uh, at, at, at like the end of the day and that's basically it and it's I just find the fixation know, it's on xander hall to be very weird too and i've talked about this before um when i talked about um dj mule's video on xander hall which was disgusting it was pathetic it was a complete and utter hit piece that was full of lies and and statements that are so insanely hypocritical um that this was made from some guy who was trying to like tout on social on like social justice topics and then was basic and then said why don't you just have makeup sex with your abuser insane an insane level and of course um forgot about that boosted by a lot of uh I mean, boosted by a lot of this. I mean, a lot of the same people we've been talking about today. I think that's I my black pill. That. If I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even think them like saying stuff about me was my black pill. I think like them saying, I think them saying like, why don't you have makeup sex with somebody who has allegedly abused you, stolen money, and also like done this, that, and the third. Um, and and them and them clapping like seals. Um, I, I didn't it. understand I was, it. I, I couldn't I square it in my that. head with with how people could watch that and feel like they're it was monsters. And I don't under and and maybe you're right. Maybe you the are. Viewer right. beware! You're in thing. for a scare. All of these people would show up in a goosebumps volume. Honestly, it's, it's <laughs> but I'm, it's I'm being a little hyperbolic. Like, but I do think they're I do think they're uncouth and unscrupulous. Personally, I I I I think it's I find 
the the grudge holding. And I don't know where that came from because um, DJ Mule had no beef with Xander Hall. Um, DJ Mule had just appeared on the street on the on the scene. As far as I'm concerned, he had a tiny little channel, and he decided to make this video that was just so out of line. It was so ridiculous, and it got boosted by a bunch of other people who, to my knowledge, also don't have any sort of direct interpersonal beef with Xander Hall. They, it just feels like they felt like he was a target they could they could gang up on, and I don't get it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't agree with like everything Zan people. has said. Me and Zan have had, like, again, another person who I'm more than willing to criticize and have been willing to criticize. But my conversation with Xander Hall, the, there was this one time. I, I'm just going to tell a short Xander Hall story for a second here. I've told this one before. This was years ago. Some of the people in my audience, maybe even some people in your audience will remember it. Um, Zan was having an issue. There was some uh, uh, drama in his community around trans people. Um, he had made a mistake. Uh, and somebody had gotten at him. He got really fucking, pe really pissed about it. And I said, all right, Zan, let me, let me talk with you about it. And we sat down and we had to talk about it. And I basically gave him this, this thing where I said, I understand that there were people in your chat who were being pieces of shit. Block those pieces of shit. But don't let yourself get so mad that you end up saying you're going to do a community purge. Uh, because they're, because trans people online don't find a lot of places where they feel comfortable. And a lot of trans people have chosen your community because they feel comfortable there. You should respect that part and and keep your anger directed at the people who were being shitty and don't do this like purge, you know, grandstanding shit. And he fucking listened to me. He's He listened to me hardcore. And that was great. And it was awesome. And it was a cool thing. And nobody ever fucking talks about that incident. They... Uh, they don't ever talk about the fact that Xander Hall has a history of actually learning about subjects, actually improving on subjects, even if he can be a hothead, even if sometimes he says shit uh, that's out of pocket, just like basically anybody else. Um, they don't ever talk about that. Instead, there's been this burning hatred of Xander Hall uh, uh, for years now, and I just don't get it. I don't understand it. And I don't mean to de derail onto Xander Hall. I just think it's an example of just like, where the fuck does this shit come from and why? Uh, no, I hate so it. I think it's here, toxic. They, and I, again, Keffels has joined it and and and, and they've been go they've been uh, bringing up you and I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't understand this. Now, you know, uh, in like cartoons when a sweater has like a loose thread and you pull on it and they um, like just pull off the entire sweater. I, I think that's basically it. I don't think they care. I also think that they're Soul Bunny and the rest of them, the, the rest of that troop, I think they're everything that they claim not to be. And I think they're everything that they say that they hate because I've never thrown out an entire person's personality or 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 being because of a dis uh, just because of like a disagreement that i've had with them politically like whether it is um cat or um or flowers or anybody honestly i had disagreements with 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 with, with uh f fd and other people and i just i knew I honestly i didn't even even though i did think that he was pro miscegenation sorry pro anti-miscegenation or I, even though i thought that he was anti-miscegenation right um I, I didn't even like throw out um uh, uh endless cemetery he kept like he always tweets at me and he just like um uh he, he always tweets at me and I, I just muted him to stop him from like from me being able to see any of, of, of his stuff but they they do exactly that so bunny came on and said that she hates the idea of people continuing things that are already done while she brings up um two year old um drama to try to claim that i'm 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 like a I'm 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 a like anti-black race trader. Um, they they try to say all these things as they bring up like things that are multiple years old that are already done with because they got on the scene, so they're new to them. They're the ones who bring up their entire troop of flying monkeys to try to take down other people who they don't like. It's just at the end of the day, I really think that they're the people who they say that they that that they hate because they come on and they'll say all of these things 24 7 about how about things that we've done wrong but honestly like this community is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination at awesome. all not but not like perfect. some of the things that i've se seen from these people i have i have thoroughly reprimanded my and some of you all in chat remember i have thoroughly reprimanded my chat for the way that they've treated the way of some of them have treated other people who we've spoken about talked about on stream i've called out people i've, I've stopped them i've had to i've given i've handed down like um uh, bans or or temps for uh for, for 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 like bad shit that they said that i that i didn't like if i'm having a disagreement with somebody you can even see 
in in like in in in, in some of the disagreements that I have, some people I'll see like will comment on me and then will like hop off of it and then go even further and say something even worse, right? I think when I was having my disagreement with those random like femcell Twitter women, um, um, uh, on 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 like um you know dating and stuff like that, I think somebody said something that I think was misogynistic and I said, hey, don't do that. And the response to them when they saw me telling somebody to stop was God was was going and making fun of me and saying guys stop you're making me you're making me look bad you're the, the, the optics of this is terrible when I never said anything about optics I just said this is bad stop don't say it I don't think they care I think they just I I, I think they'll they're just people who like the idea of uh, of finding anything and then just running with it no matter who they are no matter what they are for money clout fame and because they are just bullies there's no difference between them and like the, the this is this is our this is our cringe and negro pilled delightful kids from down the lane who are attached by the hip and walk around and just cause trouble for our code name kids next door for no other reason but because they can they're they're our they're our villains and i think i think it's time to just for me personally just separate themselves ourselves from them i'm tired of the delightful kids from down the lane Okay, I'm not sure who the father is, but I think we're going to figure out at some point in time. And I'm just I'm just sick of it. I'm tired. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about the 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 sort of uh, the hypocrisy element, I I can't help but just remember the end of the foreign man video that I reacted to the other day, which ended with um, Jesse Gender um, Swolsom, I think his name was, and foreign man himself. Um, all talking about how they feel like um, queer people aren't allowed to make mistakes. Queer people aren't allowed to do something wrong and find forgiveness and bounce back from it. Um, all in a video um, where I where they ragged the hell out of Keffels and other Curious, people. Curious, isn't it? Um, yeah, Curious, I, I, isn't I found it? that very uh, on the Strange, nose. isn't it? And it is strange. you know in when and when my when my whole thing was going I don't down appreciate it. and I, I I I I hate it I hate that type of of again this is that thing that I'm talking about where nothing can be the the message the the messages that are present in these videos um, which there are some varying degrees there is usually at least something to grab onto in some of these videos um, gets undercut by the fact that it's being weaponized in a in this extremely personal extremely uh uh hurtful uh struggle between e ego figures that it that doesn't make sense to, i don't think anybody outside of the core fan base that has been like sort of bombarded with the lore it's it's toxic yeah as yeah when and when my drama was going down i remember i wasn't the one who was like denied a private conversation like i reached out to a couple of them and i was like hey if you want to talk you you can and i all i got back was venom um and and that's and that's like basically it i could have like i have a bigger account than like a lot of these people i could just like try to end their career i could try to chase them off of the internet i could try to just like obliterate them i could act the same way they did and the problem with them is honestly they're lucky that i'm like a good person because not only would i i'm in my in my heart like oh my gosh is your camera okay oh was it freaking out i'm sorry about that it's Sometimes going crazy <laughs> sorry about that let me uh give me a second no you're fine it's Apologize. just that was really funny um the demon hopefully, mama hopefully, turned into block hopefully that fixes it um yeah it, it, being sent into the pixel dimension but like i yeah sometimes wait, when a, a call's been going for a long time the uh it, it will mm -hmm. glitch out because the 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 little capture card heats up so hopefully that'll it threw me off my train of thought so discord is ableist because it acted up on my adhd i found ableist. it again it's true i found it again Go. when i i could have i could have just because people say that i'm like nice and level-headed i'm going to tell you now like i got demons in my head and like you know how it's like the 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 thing where it's like oh an angel and a devil on your shoulder i have two devils one that's worse and one that's even worse than that and like they're always telling they, i always like I, I got the i got the snail in my ear telling me to reach for the officer's pistol if i'm going to be honest with you and i was about to i, I was i was going if i'm going to be honest with you, i was going to like the, like go completely scorched earth i was going to yeah. do something insane but i just i don't know i just thought like once again i just thought like 
I'm, I'm going to be a role model for like other smaller like black creators who come up on the scene and I don't want to I don't like the idea and they're and they're left wing at the end of the day and I just like is it really worth doing all that and I, I, I decided that it that it probably wasn't even though it would feel good in the moment I think I mean, I'll I feel better about the wider, way that I acted with all of this over time I think it's a wiser move I mean first of all I don't know like destroying people on the internet is a pretty hard thing to do uh usually they have it to wasn't destroy that themselves, if but, I'm going to be completely also, honest with you my plan was like to that you've My plan to... was to form a harassment campaign against them and make their lives a living hell every time they opened up their phone. That was like the that was like the main thing, honestly. It's definitely but I not advisable. Not I think that's a. I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to. That was like I had a. The, I had the thought. I wasn't like planning to do it, but I had the friend. thought. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I had the thought in my head. I was. I saw the. I saw the splitting paths, and it was like the 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 Disney castle and like the Doofenshmirtz tower with yeah. like the lightning coming down. And I I took one step in the in in like the evil direction. I decided to to turn around down the other um the the the, the other end. But, Why? But yeah, it's just, I do think that there's a lot of people who have chosen the dark castle. Uh, yeah, and, like it's it's so easy. That's when I realized that it was so easy. I've never I never understood how easy it was to just become evil until that until that moment happened, and I was like, it's so it's so tempting to be evil online. Um, yeah, I, I, I really mean, I'm glad that I decided not to. And that's that's kind of one of the things that I've been trying to trying to I don't know uh, maybe uh, get the shape of uh, in in this in this particular drama is there are. The thing that makes it easy to become to be to be Toxic so evil online, train. it's like uh, it's it's. I think there are incentive structures that exist, and I do think that one of them is is like boosting uh, every hate every hate video that hits the people that you don't like, um, regardless of how ridiculous the accusations are. I do think that and that's people one and of your them. audience will always reward you for being more harsh and cruel to somebody else than than yeah. being nice and, and tempered. The, like the, the hunger I, for I noticed that tweet that I did where I even yeah. just like let out like a little bit of steam on them. Mm -hmm. Like did like those those tweets went did way better than me being like, excuse me, sir. I think that you need to watch your tone. This isn't the type of venue where we need to be doing this type of stuff. And everyone's yeah. like, boring, kill him. They were like, kill it, kill him. Yeah, I mean the it's blood crazy. hunger, but but the thing is, and this is something I always bring attention to. I brought I brought this up when I was talking to Keffels the other day. Is that everybody talks about the like immediate rewards that you get from platforms uh, for doing the drama content, for doing the mean shit, for doing the like go as hard as possible, as loud as possible. These are spectacle rewarding machines that we you know YouTube and Twitter especially are and Twitch. All of these are spectacle machines. They they fuel off of that. But there's another side of it, which is that these that type of stuff is not sustainable. Um, people only have so much really you know energy for it. And so yeah, you might get a boost. You might get uh you know a couple extra views. You might get some extra money by by getting super mad. But if it's not worth it, uh, you're burning up your your emotional bandwidth other people's emotional bandwidth and you're burning up the patience of the space as a whole people can only take so much of it and it does burn out and there's and like it doesn't real have problems going on that we're supposed to be making videos and talking about and like none of this is, is that big on, yeah. on, on the grand scheme scheme of things and like yeah. i mean i don't know it just showed proof that like just being terrible doesn't seem to work out for you i mean dj mule had to actually get a real job so it seemed like it seemed like that type of like the, DJ the, the mule people who come himself, in and do for sure yeah, yeah, the people the the people who come in and let like their anger and their the they'll let their anger and their suffering like take over and then just start 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 the 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 the, the sock puppet that holds all the bad views that you don't want to say you yeah. let them start talking too much and um you you let them just go go forward and do whatever they want it starts to it starts to come back on you and so like I'm being like being a little hyperbolic I never actually wanted to make a campaign to like destroy someone but i did i did want to shoot back with more fire and i'm, I'm glad i, I that get I what didn't. you're saying i get what you're getting forward. at i didn't i didn't think you yeah. were saying you were literally going to do that i, I mean, think they wanted to do not. a harassment campaign and did it on me personally but i do think that there has been um i do think there has been at least uh some people who've been uh, who've been engaged in what i would consider to be some sort of harassment campaign against you in my opinion that's from my read of it um people where it's it's sort of sustained uh, uh, perpetuated, uh, uh, constantly reawakening with the goal of doing long-term harm. I think that 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 uh, that I, I don't know. I don't know 
uh, if I could say that about every person who's been involved in this, but I do think that some of the people involved have aimed for that sort of thing. Um, especially when I mean- mind minding my own business and then just crazy stuff happens. The same thing happens to you, it's, it's just wild. That's Internet something that, that came up in the, in the foreign man video. Um, there was this discussion of saying like, well, you know, um, you know, I don't think, you know, uh, it, Shut you up, know I think people need to be held accountable. And that doesn't mean, you know, it means that, you know, they don't always deserve or are entitled to a platform. So for a lot of people, there is this discussion of, of like, uh, damaging or removing, even if it's, even if it's sort of danced around, there is this implication of that, that we want to do damage to this person's ability to make a living, which for the record, mm -hmm. just so that everyone here is, is clear. I think that there are valid times to deplatform somebody. I've been very vocal about me thinking that that uh, people, you know, there. I, I, I can name names: Stephen Crowder, Matt Walsh, Michael Knowles. I think these Drew. these are people who are pushing for a genocide, who do, who do not deserve to have a platform and who should be deplatformed. In my opinion, that's my opinion. And yeah. uh, but I just don't think that I, that, I, I don't think, think that really applies to everybody you don't like. You know, what's that? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's a really good opinion, honestly. Like all of these types of people who are very clearly breaking TOS and literally making hate campaigns yeah. against other people. I think anybody who engaged in like that campaign against Dylan Mulvaney should be like ex like a just jettisoned from the internet. Like yeah, they should I have agree. their like internet taken away for at least like three years for yeah, it to I figure. Agree with you. Like their internet should be canceled until like we figure out what's going on. Because like yeah. there's something wrong. I was not gonna say executed. I was going to say expelled. Or okay. excised, maybe, yeah. Excised? Um, yeah, I mean, and I, I think there, I, I don't, I'm not some sort of like anti deplatforming person. I just think it's crazy um, when the conversation starts to be uh, like that uh, over things like noodles or, uh, or over um, the vague allegation of Candace Owens tactics that don't really have any actual hard evidence for that. Or, Do you have a favorite noodle? Do I have a favorite noodle? Um, yeah. Oh God. Um, oh God. I'll let you choose noodle Cava, and pasta. I won't, I won't call Cava you racist. A new, oh, that's not a noodle, is it? Cava Cappy? Is it Cava Cappy? Oh, is that what it's called? I think I, I, think I know what you're, like the, the, the really long swirly macaroni. Yeah, Cava, Cava Tappy, Cava Tappy. I really like Cava Tappy. There you go. That's a, that's a good That one. is both a noodle and a pasta. And I also really like, um, there's the, hold on, little ear pasta. It's called, what are they called? I can't remember their uh, or 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 yet or yet or yet. Okay. It's like a okay. it's this little it's like a little cup shaped noodle that has like a little mm -hmm. fatter spot in the middle. They're called like little ear noodles. And I love those. That's I think really those are cute. really good. I don't think that's a noodle. I think that's just a pasta, actually, because it's not actually noodle shaped. Um, and I mean, I ordered a uh, 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 lo mein today and it was great. Ooh. So was I guess, it tasty? Yeah, it was it was delicious. Um, That's I amazing. had a really good time. I'm happy for you. And uh, I, so, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, 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 I don't want to restate myself too much. I just feel like yeah. the the scope the scope has gotten out of hand. People are clearly uh, uh, getting hurt, and I think it's hurting the space as a whole. And I think that it's a uh, that 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 people need to wake up a little bit and 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 to step back and and think about whether or not this shit is uh is productive, useful, uh if if it's truthful more than anything, I think yeah. it would be pretty important. Um I think yeah, yeah. I think um I think I want to cut contact with more people sooner, honestly. Yeah. Cuz I think like I I think rebuilding a relationship from you said something insane and I just instantly blocked you. Yeah. Um, is better than we had we had an insane conversation where we went back and forth on insane shit for two hours. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you can pull more more stuff from that. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm in the I'm in the the park of I, I want to use my block button much more, not only as like a defensive measure for myself, but I want to use it for them because I think like I can control myself, but I don't know if they if anybody on the internet, random person on the internet, really can. So I think just like. Like protecting themselves, pe protecting them from themselves by like putting them in a padded room, like away from the away from me or putting like a like a padded wall in between, not just like a normal brick wall, a padded one. So when they like try to knock their forehead against it, they don't like give themselves a concussion. It's just like I, I think it's the best thing forward, because if we could just like 
if, if talking to each other leads to this issue, I'd much rather never speak to you again and just have you like do your own thing, making your own content with your little mm -hmm. Patreon subs. And for me to like have a good time and and like talk about what I what I talk about um, with, with with my own subs, because I remember back like oh, through this after all everything happened, I remembered um, back when I was at the like BLM protest for Breonna Taylor in Louisville because because I'm in Kentucky right so it, it was a really local thing um I remember when I was there I got like a pretty good seat um and every well, I got a pretty good place to stand in, in the crowd and everything I remember how one of the people who drove down one of the activists that drove down um grabbed the mic and they were talking uh, to the crowd about what it means to be an activist and everything and they said you know look to your left look to your right you may know these people you may not know them you may love them you may hate them yeah. and at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if you don't have to like the people you don't have to love the people who you do um advocacy with you don't even have to like them you could hate each other but it's yeah. not about but it's more but what we're doing is greater than you it's greater than any like interpersonal drama that you have going on is better than is greater than any like issue that you have going on and we're we're here for like a greater cause and a greater purpose and i think like if we can't make amends i think i'd ma rather um nothing to be spoken with at all if yeah, we can't just like bury the hatchet i would rather yeah. make like a like a ha anti hatchet barrier um around me and then just walk away yeah I think that I think I completely understand that. And I mean, that's an experience I personally have had with a with a space, you know, um, the debate space where, um, you know, I said, I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this f uh, nightmare. The Twitch debate space. That was back when I streamed on Twitch before I went to YouTube. I was I'm done with this fucking shit. This shit is just endlessly toxic. It's not fun anymore. Um, there was a, a continual problem of, of me uh, getting tokenized in the sense that um, that uh, the only emails I would ever get anymore was just people wanting me to come onto a panel where the opposition was, you're not a human, you're not a real like being, like trans people that are is true. liars and, and, I, and, and, uh, and you know, you're not a real woman and all this shit. And I said, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm done with this shit. And as it turns out, I ended up maintaining some connections with people who, where the connection was, you know, the fr the relationship was strong enough to survive that anyway. So I do think that that's a valid option um, in a lot of cases. And I mean, God knows that I've had, you know, my fair share of of just saying, all right, you don't like me, f off then, whatever. I mean, I've been trying to, you know, uh, figure out um, what what bridges can be built in the space that currently exists and whether a new space, a healthier space is even possible. And I, I think sometimes you might be right. I think sometimes there are just those wall, the, 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 the door just has to be closed for everyone's well being. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I do think that's a better option. And I wish some, I, I wish a lot of people would choose that option uh, before engaging in these, these long drawn out, uh, obnoxious, painful drama sessions. But, there is always that that blood incentive in these spaces to to oh, yeah. say well, the there, most shocking there, there, there thing. Always you can. Is. Yeah, there always is. You'll always be rewarded for it. I'll tell you that much. I mean, I'm I'm thankful because like I I'm thankful for my community. I think I've built like a pretty decent community out here, and your community is pretty cute too. I don't think um, there. Yeah, we're I, think we've, I think I've. Hmm? We're a little smaller. A little smaller um, than, your, than your community. I'm you have a like larger stream. I'm at like twenty five. Okay. Yeah, you have a larger stream community than me. Really. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised by that. I don't have a really, I don't, I don't have a really big stream community. Oh, um, okay. I have a, I have a, I have a re relatively, you know, decent sized like YouTube community, but a stream say, community, you got a stream good community of YouTube followers. Smaller. Your videos yeah. do great yeah. on YouTube. I've seen those before. I've seen them. I mean, oh, they're all right. I, I appreciate it. you. Flatter me. Oh, I mean, you, um, you got the play button, flatter the, my friend. <laughs> I do have the, we, I, don't I do one. have the play button. <laughs> you flatter, you follow the girls. The girls do good work. My editors do good work. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, but. But yeah, I I think that's probably like the best. I just want to move forward without like this insane stuff going on because I've thankfully been I, I can't call it anything other than like blessed with having just like a reasonably like problem free rise when it comes to content. Honestly, like for for the most people, like a lot of people are genuinely like reach out to me all the time and they're like shocked about how I've been in so little drama. I guess I think it's I, I think one of the big reasons why is because I, I tend to disengage way quicker than a lot of other people do. Yeah, because um, I had the option to, 
you know, to, to, to go on and have like a kerfuffle with Destiny and go on and have a kerfuffle with, uh, I think, Nick Fuentes as well. Um, I've been I've been offered a debate Oof. with Nick Fuentes, I think, a couple of times um, and that like um, weird weirdo Jesse guy and like some some other things as well. I've had conversations more in private than anything, but I, I just think it's I think it's probably for the best to just like cut cut and just like move on more than anything else. Um, I, th I think it's also like a product a little bit recently of it's it's a little bit like just like how I was raised and a little bit of my nature as well. But I think it, it, it came from um, you know, not the tra not the trauma dump. Uh, when, when I when I started streaming, I actually figured out that I had an anxiety disorder. My parents yeah. handed down to me an, a dis uh, an anxiety disorder, and so I had like a my first panic attack on a debate panel um, with um, with, with with Caitlin Borshenko. Uh, oh my Caitlin, god! What a yeah, wild Caitlin per, like Kaplunko or whatever her yeah. name is. Um, yeah, Caitlin Pachinko, I think is her name. Um, and she, yeah. Yeah, and she, Interesting and, they, and I had to, yeah, interesting person. And I like, and, and that was the first time that ever happened. Um, and I didn't know what was going on. Thankfully, I was able to bounce back. It happened again when I was talking about, um, uh, the, the, the trans people are just so scary. I was talking about neo pronouns and I had another one. I thought I was dying and I had to go to the ER genuinely. Um, and I think oh, like, sorry. oh, that maybe, wrong. maybe that's made me a little bit more, um, uh, 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 I, I, what's the word? Um, conflict diverse, just like a little bit, not not like a crazy amount, but just like de definitely a bit that's more. A totally valid reason to be conflict diverse. Uh, you, yeah, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be alone in uh, struggling with anxiety. Uh, it's a it's been a perpetual struggle since I I started streaming myself. So uh, yeah, you're not alone. Yeah, in that. so I I think um, that kind of like plays into it, but like a little bit more it, it harms me more uh, but i think it did played into it a little bit more and a lot of other stuff i think has just led to i think it's just honestly like the best thing to just stop talking to a lot of people <laughs> yeah. like honestly Sometimes, like yeah. have your have your nice and fun and good connections and then just like not worry about expanding your space too much um on honestly it, it reminds me a little bit about some conversations about some some dating things and uh the, the idea that Personally, when I go out and I date and everything, um, sometimes some girls are like, oh, I'm not sure if I like you like that, but you're really cool and I'd like to be your friend and everything, right? And I kind of think sometimes that I'm not sure if I want that. Not because not because I hate being friends with women. I love women. They definitely could be much worse, honestly. Um, and so, <laughs> and so uh, it, it's mostly because that's not really what I'm looking for. And I have like a good amount of, I have enough friends already. You know, it's kind of hard to keep up it's kind of hard yeah, to keep up with the, with the amount of friends thin. that I have. Yeah, and then yeah. I meet all these girls, and they're all like, "I want to be your friend." Like, well, I hope you find someone like me, babe. And I, I have to, and, and then I have to cut it there. And so I, I guess it kind of has to be like that as well with with other content creators, and like I kind of view them as coworkers in the space. Yeah. How I can't, I can't like bring them in like that because if I do, then I open myself up to these types of issues, and that gets in the way of work, and that gets in the way of like doing what I do here. And even though I don't take myself super and crazy seriously, I think that what we do here is important. I think yeah. if like if we're going to accept that what like Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder and uh, and like De Fuentes and all these people do like fresh and fit, what these people do is important. I don't think what we do is any less important, honestly. And I remember working at McDonald's and watch and bring out food to some guy who was watching Steven Crowder on his phone. Yeah. And I I want I want one day for them to be watching like one of our videos and learning yeah. maybe something and taking it home and talking to well, somebody else. Like it, you're it touching starts with on somebody. something super super relevant to what I have been talking about this whole year, and I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I am very forward about the fact that I'm an entertainer. Um, you know, I sometimes call myself an edutainer because I do try to do things that are informative. But I know that I'm a YouTuber at the end of the day. And I don't, that's not for me to say that I don't think any of this is important because I do. And I know that my videos, especially ones where I put, you know, my heart and soul into it, can have a huge reach. I was talking earlier before we started talking about my spiritual deconstruction video, um, which if any of you haven't seen that, it's my video I'm most proud of. It's my video where I talk about growing up in a fundamentalist Christian cult um, and all that came with that and me just breaking down my experience with spirituality in that way. And uh, that video has yielded letters from people talking about, you have you know, I grew up in a similar church. It's, I, I, it's amazing to hear somebody else that was able to get out of it and that you're able to live a life and do these other things and, and all that type of stuff. So yes, there is importance to this. Um, I 
I feel like people misplace all the importance. They don't understand where the importance lies. They think it's in this, like, you got to own everybody who disagrees with you to, like, get this specific alignment on every issue down to the wording perfectly. And that's the only way you make any of this happen. When in reality, um, like you said, uh, everybody can't have like super close friendships with everyone in a space. That's just not possible for everyone's time. Instead, it's kind of, of problems too. Yeah, it can. And, and I think it's actually therefore important that like the baseline of a space is not one of hostility and toxicity, you know, for it to work in the way that we think is important. At least that's what I think when I, mm -hmm. like, if, if there's a, if there's a baseline you want if a space exists and you want it to thrive and you want people to be able to find uh, content that's the opposite of, of the far right nonsense that's getting plugged everywhere, we want more people in here, more people finding this, then I feel like it's important that the that when people walk into the space, they don't go, oh my God, everything's on fire and it, it Yeah, what the poisonous. fuck's going on? Yeah, Everybody's at each other's jugulars. Yeah, right? For like, you're like ankle deep in blood and nothing, nobody's talking about anything super important. You want people to feel at, at ease to a certain degree. And that's not to say there aren't going to be beefs. That's not to say there aren't going to be legitimate gripes. But I feel we should be more careful with that. Way more careful than where we are now. Because... Uh, I really feel like... Yeah. Can you tell me, have you seen me really blow up on on somebody in 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 in, in the space honestly like outside do you, do you think... of the clip that you mentioned earlier that i asked you to explain explain no i haven't uh, in my personal experience with your content i have not seen you uh light anybody up i haven't seen you dump slurs on anybody a again with the exception of that one which i asked you to give your reasoning for why you did it earlier um that's about the only one i've ever seen and, and I'll be completely honest. There are people who are way harsher than you. I have probably been way harsher than you have, at least from the, the clips that I've seen. Now, I'm not like, a, I don't have encyclopedic knowledge of your content. I haven't seen every stream. I'm often streaming myself. But what are you, no. racist? You don't know all my content? What the I hell? I don't know all your content. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm racist. You, you got me. Take me down. This is sure. your opportunity. You have it right That's now. That's what I came huge, here for. It's over. Right Let's now. go, guys. We got, we got the clip. Let's go. Run. You got it. You got me. Um, but no, I, 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 my impression of you has never been that you are somebody who goes that hard. And I have not, I have not received, um, even when I asked for it, even when I directly asked people who seem to have a problem with you for evidence of you doing these egregious things, I've never received any evidence of that, which yeah, is one of the a, things that, that's which the is thing part of the reason why I ask, like I asked pointed questions to, to Soul Bunny. I, I've, I, and I also asked pointed questions to you. I feel like you gave a, a very direct answer to things that you felt were toxic or this or the other thing. And I don't feel like I've received that in the other direction. I just really think, so a lot of people are like, I, I, wanna, I wanna make this clear as well. A lot of people uh, like think that I'm mad for a lot of the things that they said. I'm going to tell you, I probably think like 60% of the things that I'm probably mad about, honestly, is, and I'm not saying that it's reducing the amount of stuff I'm mad about. It adds onto the stuff I'm mad about, actually. So it's not a like reductive, it went from 100 to 40. I'm talking about it went from 40, I add another 60% onto that. Well, I, yeah, 120. Listen, that was my best, my best subject it was actually English. Listen. I it's actually it wasn't the things that they said it was the things that they I'm, I'm more I'm not as mad as the things that they said as I am about the more of the things that they didn't say the things that they implied about me because like you'll you'll see some like bad shit that they say about me but the things that they imply about me more is is is, 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 is what's wild because like I'll and they'll and then they'll get mad at me for saying the things that they implied about me right because I remember that I, I used the hard R but like referring to myself again how I was like I can't believe these I had like two disagreements with these people and they come out just trying to call me a house n-word right Right? Uh -huh. And and like then they got really angry, even though that was exactly what they were saying about me to the very letter. They just didn't say the exact word like they all said that stuff about me and they all insinuated all that stuff about me. And then when I asked them, they didn't dis they didn't say that they didn't believe it. So what am I? So and then they just get mad at me for saying the things that they didn't want that they weren't strong enough to say to my face and they're acting like children there's there's no there's no difference between like me being like the big brother and then them like throwing something at the back of my fucking head causing a mess and then running to mom and being like he, 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 he's gonna hurt me he's gonna hurt me like what do you want from me 
Like, I just, I, I don't know what more to do with these people. And that's why I'm uh, just I like, I gotta cut away from these people because I don't know what more to say. I don't know what, how better I could have treated any of these people than what I did already. It just seemed like there's nothing I can say or do. And that's why I didn't make the video for them because there's nothing I can say or do that's going to change their minds. So it just seems like they're just monsters and I have to get away from them. That's it. They're, they're the I mean, Wendigo and I'm, I'm doing like quick time events and we, 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 to, 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 to wait until, to wait until dawn, honestly. When you say like, the, the, what could I do? you know, to please, you know, people, I feel like that's like a resonating, uh, a resonating issue. And, uh, I don't know, I, I'm sure it extends beyond lefty spaces, but nonetheless, I think it's factual that it's a problem in lefty spaces online. Um, you know, everybody knows ContraPoint's canceling video was a pretty good example uh, of summarizing how it works, the way that people like Lindsay Ellis have been treated, the way I've been treated. I know what that feeling is like. I know there came a point in my career where I literally had to say, well, uh, my reputation is completely and utterly ruined to an audience that is literally, um, you know, a hundred times larger than I have ever had the reach and might ever have the reach. I just have to accept this. I don't, I don't know that there's anything I can do. I don't think there's anything I can do. And there are still people, there are people who are mad at me about things that transpired years ago based on total narratives that were given to them by another content creator. And, and they're super pissed at me. And they're still mad at me to this day. And they rant about me and they repeat this shit about me. And it does suck. It, it fucking sucks. And it's horrible. Um, it, it sucks. It's, it's terrible. And that feeling of like, what am I supposed to do to make these people happy? And I do think that it is true that sometimes there is nothing you can do. Because you know I, what, I do you think know what that got the, like, me? the accountability thing is like one of those things. And sorry, go ahead. Yeah. You know what got me? In, in the same week that the that conservatives are trying to push through the abolishment of the civil rights, um, the, the 1964 Civil Rights Act, 1965 Civil Rights Act. Drop a video about how you don't like two content creators who are who are queer. It's just like, is, <laughs> yeah. how am I supposed to take these people seriously? How am I supposed to take these people seriously? Like, what, what am I supposed to do there in that situation? Like, genuinely, like, I, these aren't serious people. Are yeah. they like, well, actually, I don't want to answer you, ask you that question. I want you to say anything you don't want to. I mean, you but, like, can, I don't when, know when it comes to the specific thing that you're referencing, the video about Vosh and Keffels, the, the, the foreign man video. No, I don't think it's serious. I don't think there's this, anything this, serious. This in that. I don't think that making a video people. capitalizing on, um, you know, intentionally or unintentionally, I would like to believe that he that it was just sort of callous and just sort of seeing the engagement, but making a title that says when you're racist, but queer in the midst of like, some of the most the most queer hate that we've ever seen in recent memory and then you make a video titled like that which mostly talks about straight people and then you drive the point into the side of two queer people i do think that that's uh i don't think that there's a, i don't think there's anything good that can come from that i think that's fucking shit i don't know what you're supposed it's, to do except for it's say, okay because he's black Jesus. and his friends say that he's epic and based and so there's nothing you can't say that he's wrong because he's right and because they believe things that are right and if you don't believe what they believe then that's wrong because they're right and you're wrong and so uh Man, good yeah. things are good and bad things are bad and we're good and you're bad so end of story what can i say it's just that's that's the like it sounds super like antagonistic and somebody just saying like listening to that will be like oh this guy's off the deep end but i don't know how how else to think of? please like if you can find any other way to think about this i'd love i'd love for somebody to well, with that to video me down in particular edge, i don't but, like, i think it would be unfair to call you antagonistic given that that video was made and it targeted you in the first 10 minutes in the first one and a half minutes um with what i consider to be a totally out of pocket joke um at, while simultaneously comparing you vosh and keffels to uh, dave Chappelle and jk rowling I don't think it's that crazy. you're being, I don't, I don't think that you're being, I, I These can't, out of their minds. I can't in good conscience or I can't in any sort of rationality say that you're, uh, being a you're being the aggressor there or that you're being, uh, out of line for being frustrated with something like that. Again, and they use the picture no of me like after I got a birthday you. cake. They, the, 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 the nice little white people there who were doing the hokey pokey to, you know, Mr. Bright Sky while I was there. And they, they, they invited me to like a, to an Airbnb and they got me a birthday cake and everything. They treated me way better than, than any of these people. The, 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 I, these, I find uh, that so weird and parasocial. Like, again, it's just it's crazy. so fucking weird.
I mean, that's where again, the picture. That's where they back. I have no from. problem denouncing that video. I, I have to be. You know, I, I'm a little more. I'm trying to be a little more careful with broader statements because I don't want people to get caught in a blast. But I think that video fucking sucked ass, and I said so. <laughs> like, I, I completely really tore funny. that video apart, and I stand by it. I stand by that the. It's the angriest people were telling me it's the angriest I've been at a video essay that they've ever seen. I, I think they're accurate to say that. I There was so much in it that I felt was stupid and out of place and just really awkward and weird and hurtful. And it got seen by 200,000 people. Um, maybe maybe I was angrier at the video essay where uh, shoe on head uh, clipped me out of, con not, not even clipped me out of context, just took a, a separate, a clip that didn't even make sense and then just called me a pedophile defender. Uh, and that got seen by a million people. I think I was more personally angry at that one because that's a pretty fucked up thing. Uh, I, I don't do, know. But, I don't know about that, honestly. I've yeah, never, I actually sucks. haven't ever watched a shoe video before. Ah, you don't um, miss anything. So I, I, I actually don't know now, that now much I'd about be in the it, salty I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, okay, it was fine. Yeah. No. We, I think we're allowed to be a little salty every now and again. Um, yeah. Especially because I think I think both of us honestly mind their own business a lot of the time. Um yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I've been known to, you know, I, I tend to have moments where I get activated and will yell. dabble in the sauce? I Maybe mean, a little yeah, fire dancer every now and then? I don't, I don't pretend to be above drama. I mean, I don't, I don't do drama content very often. Uh, people, I do drama mamas, which, believe it or not, despite the name, their entire goal is to sort of diffuse the drama effect. My drama mamas are like deep dives where I bring up all the receipts and try to make the story make sense. Um, but I don't I really saw that. do. That's, a, that's actually a really good name for a series. I recently oh came up with one. It, I called it Cancelled or Cringe. The yeah. series where we figured out if somebody was really cancelled or if they were just cringe. Yeah, that's, um, a good, that's good. That's and, and good yeah. as hell. I like but that thank concept. Thank you, too. thank you. Yeah. I, I, I tried to do, you know, that's my that's my drama content. But I, I try to stay away from, like, um, community drama for the most part, with a few exceptions. Um, if it hits particularly close to home, I may weigh in. Uh, if it annoys me a whole lot, I may weigh in. Um, but I mean, I I used to do it more often, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and I've moved away from it because I was just getting tired of it. No, yeah, I remember. Um, I remember. Yeah, but, I don't think I've been here as long as you, but I've I've been watching the content for, uh, for uh, since 2016. So yeah. I've I've been in the space since yeah. then. So it's been a while. That's I'm awesome. an old head, I guess. Yeah. Did I realize I was getting old, honestly. Like I, I felt my facial hair starting to grow in a little bit more, and then I looked at the the year, and I'm like, I'm always one year older than the actual year typically, because my birthday is in January, and I was like, I'm I'm 24, I'm getting old, I'm I'm getting up there. I'm you're kinda, a, I'm, you're I'm a baby. Kinda, you're a baby. I'm what are you talking about? Mode. Now you're making now me I'm feel old. like I'm ancient. I'm 24. It's old. <laughs> everybody always, everybody in these spaces always makes me feel ancient. You know how old I am? Um. Guess. Put you on my the spot. mom always told me never to guess a woman's age. Guess. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, 26. You're nah. I, I honestly probably 33. Like I'm, I'm two 33? Months away from, three months away from being 33. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know. Nobody believes me. Now you, I know. You've been so around. All, everybody comes here and says, oh, I feel old. I'm 25. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old as shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're doing well for yourself for oh, at 20. You. I've seen some very disheveled uh, 33 year olds. So you're, you're yeah. making it happen. Uh, I, I like to, I, I got to remind myself that in these spaces, these spaces trend very young because it's just the way it is. And uh, mm -hmm. I feel older than I actually am. And I have to remember, hey, I got a long time ahead of me. My mom's still doing great. So, and she's mm -hmm. much older than me. So, yeah, you know. You're still kicking it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, you so yeah, we've, you, we've gone you over a lot other... of stuff. No, no. I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like we've talked about most of the, the core, you know, stuff that I wanted to, you know, that I want, that I wanted, that I was hoping we would go over with regard to this particular situation. And I, I think it's been a very productive conversation. I think that uh, I, I felt like, you know, my questions were, uh, I mean, honestly, you were willing to offer a lot of uh, your experience and your feelings about things and your opinions about things. And I think that's, it's almost that's like when you're great. not lying, you're willing to share. Well, I mean, I will <laughs> say there was some, there was some in the last conversation that we ended up getting off on a, on a big tangent on a, on a, on the say her name stuff. And we didn't hundred percent see eye to eye, but there was a lot of, Dude, that shit's 100% yoink from uh native American people, isn't it? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I don't describe it that way. Then that, that's the point I was trying to make. I don't think that's how hashtags work. I don't think people can own hashtags. They um, nabbed it. 
Swiper, no swiping. But but <laughs> but it is a simple fact that yes, the say her name was used before anything else. The first like earliest recorded you know public usages of that of that phrase, as far as I can tell, was for uh, missing and murdered Indigenous women. Now I I think it would be absurd personally for me to make an argument that like it was stolen by another group of people. I just mm -hmm. don't think that's how hashtags like this work. I don't know how. I don't think that's how three word phrases work. Yeah, I, I, and I, 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 it I, makes me so angry yeah. when it comes to like speaking as a speaking as like a black person here. Honestly, speaking as a black person, um, I think that it's crazy when I see other. It makes me. It makes my blood boil. When I see other black people trying to pull up the ladder behind them when it comes to other minorities who come out. And I think that's exactly what that is at the end of the day. I think it's because they see themselves because they're black. They think I've heard it before. I think they think that they're like they're 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 the minority who deserves the most. And everybody like us as black people, we deserve the most. And other minorities need to get in line behind us because it's because it's it's, you know, fuck you. I will get mine before you. And they're even willing to kick off other like minorities out, out, out of their place in line. Even though Native American, if anybody, if anybody in this country deserves anything, uh, and, and we're gonna have to get in line, we're black people are behind Native Americans. Period. There were fucking one hundred million of them here before uh, before Chris, before Christopher genocide came and, and and ended all of that. Okay, so if that's the case, then I think the, I think a lot of these people just need to. I hate to say it, they need to know their place, and their place is standing shoulder to shoulder with other minorities and i just i we're not going to fix this problem if we don't like work together there's no reason and i feel like i get they look at me like i got three heads when i say that i i feel that like black issues are the are like in the same vein as trans issues and gay issues and native american issues and and foreigner issues and and people who are sitting in those concentration camps on the border and and you know women's issues and everybody's issue. like all of these minorities and marginalized groups we need to stand together to work together for this to have for anything to really change we need each other we can't just work outside of each other this is when this is how movements fall apart you like squabbling endlessly about a, about a, a hashtag you can't own and you didn't even make yourself you stole from indigenous people who need the most amount of like space period if like if i'm going to be honest with you like black issues are pretty big in the news right now i still haven't heard shit about a native american person about native american women going missing like they'll always be there when it comes to like a black trans woman getting missing which you do need to be there for and or like a trans person or a gay person or like this and that they'll always be there for but they'll never say anything about native american people i haven't heard them say shit about that and forever and these people just I, need I, I these was... people need their help and it just makes me sick when i see other black people try to sit here and say that we deserve more than other minorities and trying to kick them off and trying to like boost up ourselves for their for their like and take space from them when we could share space together but i guess these people were born as like single like a simple single siblings or something because they're not used to sharing and it just makes me sick i i i i I think I agree really strongly with you, especially on the part of, um, I mean, uh, I should say, I agree with you on the solidarity part most strongly. Um, there, at least from my perspective, um, and the way I see it is that, like, I don't, I don't understand the mentality. I, I don't understand the mentality that would guide someone to believe that like a sort of spin up spur of the moment hashtag movement is any sort of act of um, like colonization or theft or anything like that. I feel like that is, um, I feel like that's an odd approach and an unproductive approach. Do you soul bunny's issue. language? She's entitled, she feels entitled to use whatever she thinks is going to make black people's lives better, even in the smallest amount, even if it means stealing it from somebody who is using it first. That's that's what it means is that she knows a lot about the history of black people in this country, but I don't think she necessarily knows shit about how what other communities have gone through or are going to disregard their minority status because they may be a part of another majority or non marginalized group. And so they can wipe that all away and say, sorry, whitey, I don't care if you're trans and they're trying to like and, and they're trying to throw you in jail for getting uh, for trying to uh, transition. 
um, or some shit like that. Whoops, you're a colonizer. Fuck you. I'm going to do whatever I want. And because at the end of the day, she wouldn't admit it. But I'm going to tell you this right now, that if you like drill down on the point on, on that point about like that uh, the hashtag being for specifically like missing in indigenous women, that it's that her like idea was would come out to basically calling them colonizers i'm going to tell you I, that's my personal opinion you can disagree to, with with it if I, mean, you want. I, I don't know i think that I she wouldn't wouldn't like i think she would bristle at saying it but i don't think that i think that she would very happily beat around the bush about calling about if, if she saw like um say her name to like a big native uh like a big native american um uh like story about like a like a woman going missing and say her name going i don't i do not believe and this may be just me being like super cynical. I do not believe that she would bristle at, 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 at like even in private going like this is colonizer shit about fucking Native Americans going. I, I hope I don't, not. I, don't think I so. certainly hope not. I just I, I would hope a lot when of it things. comes to this conversation about that topic. I, I found the discourse that that grew from it to be so unproductive, it, it, like just shockingly unproductive, because I, I don't know. I don't understand the. I, I'm always very suspicious and careful to avoid uh, uh, constructing arguments that are designed to, to like sort of bang wedges between marginalized communities or that are designed that are that are fixated on uh, trying to hash out who has it worse because I don't think that I don't think that that's an easy I hate conversation the oppression that, Olympics. I, I think it's I, I hate it I hate it too and I think that um I think that it's damaging and and confusing and hurtful and doesn't get anybody anywhere and that it ends up ultimately only serving to break solidarity how um, about we both deserve better yeah i mean i would agree with you on that and i this is not me saying that there aren't conversations to be had about um you know trends or whatever but but how do you how do you have that conversation in the middle of a tragedy when people grabbed three words and put it to a hashtag because newspapers were not saying her name and so entitlement and i and maybe, un yeah. uncaring for other people's maybe. situation it's, it's just it's i do think, it's that just think that there's a lack of empathy okay. um i do okay. think that there's a lack of empathy there and i i i don't know i i hate it i hate the state that this is where this is the, the the, the state of affairs and this is where so much uh, there was so much discourse around that and i hate that it's still it's around true. here and it has to be used, done I'm like op opinions on it are used as justification to further judge someone i mean the whole reason that even came up was because it was about keffels because they said that keffels by saying Kefels. that she didn't think that um you know by saying that she she thought that it was not cool uh, to try and uh, you know uh, do that discourse while somebody while while people were trying to you know get justice for a dead kid, a dead trans mm -hmm. kid, um, that that was somehow indicative of her racism. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on anymore? What the fuck is mm -hmm. going on? I don't. It has know. to be done just... for for my anime nerds. And I am uncomfortable. I should say one other thing. I am very uncomfortable with the way that um, that people either com just stop engaging. Um, or refuse to acknowledge the fact that um, that missing and murdered indigenous women were using the say her name hashtag and the say her name phrase. I don't. I, I do find it odd um, when people like deny that because you could just look it up. And I don't understand what the purpose would be. To Google that, is a powerful force. Just being dishonest. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, 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 I did feel bad about that part, and that's why I asserted. No, it's actually just a matter of fact. This is something I researched previously when this was being discussed well i've taken my fire and rage from everything and i've turned it inwards and i've used it to cook up some better content now that i'm not going to be talking about this anymore i'm going to be working on um a, a, a review and takedown of walsh's what is a woman Based. honestly good luck with and that. i want to do some other stuff i'm not gonna burn the bridge but i'm gonna i'm gonna do malevolent shrine on the bridge i have domain expansion malevolent shrine and <laughs> i have to take down the bridge it has to be done it has to it has to be done okay um it, like it's a boomer. gamble is that naruto stuff it's a gamble i'm willing to make it is naruto you're right ah yeah boomer check fa boomer check succeeded nice work I, yeah. I, I was wondering if you were gonna pick up malevolent trying from uh from naruto i don't I, I haven't even watched much naruto it was a uh, slightly what? after my yeah. time of being into like mm -hmm. a lot of uh 
uh, not 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 saying that like people that people can't enjoy you know shonen or whatever, but like I, it was it hit its peak like after when I was in college and stuff like that. So yeah, you know mm -hmm. I didn't quite get no, it on yeah, that 100, yeah, 100 bottom floor. Yeah, my, I did my with favorite Dragon Ball Z uh, though. See, Dragon Ball Z was my shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 But, uh, no, my favorite character from uh, from um, Naruto was Mob. He was a really cool guy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't know yeah. all the characters all that well. Um, yeah, he had like he had like cool like mind powers and stuff like that. He was a great guy. Oh, that's awesome. He also wanted to be Hokage. Wild stuff. Yeah. Um, advanced advanced uh, ninja two techniques. The Hokage is the yes, upgrade. Yes, I remember yes, that. Yes, yes. I know that. Yes. I know that one. So, um, Did you know Luffy? Uh, that's from One Piece, though, right? Fuck, guys, she's onto us. Yeah, I know. I know that one. So. Okay, yeah, I know okay, the, okay. I know. Wait, is is Mo wait wait Mob is from a different show? Is that's the that's what you were you were getting at, right? That's from what? That's from Mob Psycho, right? That's why you said that, right? Mm -hmm. but this is, what, what do you? Okay, I'm, I might one... be I might be pseudo failing. Well, not just Uber one Japanese on person is named Mob. Oh, okay, I don't know. No, you're right. I've been lying to you this whole time. No, you haven't been. Not the whole time. No, Malevolent Shrine is not from Naruto. What that, is it? That's uh, that's Ryomen Sakuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, come on. God damn it. Domain expansions, <laughs> Jujutsu, kind of not Kaisen, what, not Naruto. God damn it. Fuck. Now I feel like I've been psyoped. What a cruel, what a, what a cruel move to what pull. What a cruel world. What a cruel move. I have to retire in shame now. Eh, whatever. Yeah, that's true. The, we were warning you. Shut the fuck up, chat. I've, this is the first time I've even looked at chat. You guys were so annoying last time that I've given up on looking at you at all during any of these conversations. All right, the though. The millennial slayer. If you still got a little bit of time left? You are you getting tired out? Oh, I'll, I I will have to go. I will have to give my dog medicine sometime soon. But okay. um, we, I'm I, I'm definitely down. You to, if you, you have wanted, anything else, you wanted or... to be open to some chat questions. But yeah, I, I wanted to say. ask answer some questions for anybody because I know I haven't opened up about this too much. So, all right, chat. This is your chance. At, you can shoot some questions. I don't know. You can do you, if you I want. I do have to, chat open. You have my chat open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sick. All right, chat. Go ahead. I'll let I'll yield the floor to Shark, and uh, and you guys can ask questions. Shark's watching our chat, so go ahead. How's, don't how's be dumb. Don't ask stupid questions. Take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah, don't be stupid. I'll kill you. Um, I'm being mean to my chat because they were fucking freaking out in the last few conversations no, they, we've had. They deserve it. Um, yeah. I actually uh, uh, Shady came home today. He has a bunch of medicine, but he's doing Yay. very well. I have not watched Fully Cooly. I don't know what that is. I've only watched like a couple of it. I only just started getting into watching media recently. So, what's your opinion on people defending the sea slayer use uh, uh, by him? You can't criticize how black people talk to each other. Oh no, I think okay. So yeah, it's like a how do you? I don't know how these people would ever answer the question. Like, how do you figure out like how do you how do I know if I should listen to um like Martin Luther King or Candace Owens on black issues? How does in these people's worlds? How in the world do you even figure that out? Like how do you how do you figure out you should listen to one or if not the other? If you're like oh you should listen to black people when they talk and you need to you just need to be educated, okay? And once you're educated, you need to like listen. You need to like genuflect at the altar of 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 of, of like melanin. And if you don't, then you're just racist. If that's the case, then how in the world do you and you don't put any like of your own thought into it? How in the world do you figure out the difference between Martin Luther King and Candace Owens? Right? Like how in the world does that work out i feel like it doesn't so it just i, I it's just it's just completely uh, it's just completely ridiculous i'm going to be honest with you um i i don't think like i wouldn't support using the sea slur against honestly anybody i just don't i don't like it i don't think it's a good word i don't think like normalizing using slurs like that against other like black people honestly especially when you're spitting vitriol um i don't think that's very good at all hello hi hi argo hope you're doing well she hurt her ankle the other day oh i'm sorry to hear that is argo your editor right she is. She is. A base. She's one of my editors. Arco's been she in my community work. a long time. That's 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 awesome. Yeah. Really good to hear that. Yeah, she's a yeah, she's a simp. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, she's everybody's a just simp. pogging right now. See, I knew they were gonna. I knew they were gonna clam up. <laughs> they think, weren't. They're gonna I ask stupid you, questions. Yeah. Stupid question from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I'm messing with you all. I I I, I will say I appreciate you all's support. Um, through through all of this, you all have been incredibly kind to me, and and I do really appreciate all all, all of you've like done and everything, um, and 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 the kindness that you've like uh, bestowed upon me because like I, um, uh, it 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 helped make everything go by much better and help me be able to get through everything much better with like seeing that not everybody thinks that I'm insane. It's very hard. 
um, to, to go about when everybody that you've talked to recently says that you're like crazy and insane and you hate black people. So yeah, I, I do really appreciate you all. How do you deal with the, with all this stuff mentally? I get the anxiety talking to people. People IRL, how do you do it? Personally, um, I, 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 I did it by disconnecting and connecting back up with people who I know aren't insane to, to ask that question, right? Because you may have seen in my, you may have heard in my conversation here. I asked Demon Mama a couple of times since she like saw like both ends. I asked her a couple of times, you know, am, am I wrong? Am I crazy? Did I do this? Did I do that? Did I do a bad thing here? And then I had, and I had her answer the question because like, it, it's good to have people, you know, tell you what's up. You can, you can think in your head like that you're not crazy but for ha like having the affirmation from somebody else that you know or if you if you went too far in the other direction and you think that you definitely didn't do anything wrong and then somebody's like hey you could have you could, definitely could have handled this situation better yeah. yeah it's it's good it's a good learning experience and will help you bring your mind outside of how insane people are treating you and then back into um how, how you should be treating yourself because those are two very different things and then distancing yourself from them is, is a decent way for you to be able to um look at the situation um well because you got to understand I, I my blanket idea is that anybody who speaks on the internet is genuinely insane so and, and until they prove me otherwise and so if you're insane until you prove to me otherwise then i'll just disregard what you say until you prove to me otherwise because if you don't then you start then you start changing your life and your life practices over the whims of stupid people, which seems pretty stupid. And so no longer are they stupid. Now you're stupid because you listen to them. And that's, and, and, and that's how you, and, and that's basically how that works. Right. Um, I, I think so I that, could, that's how I, I could do. also but it is say very like, uh, for me, having been through some similar levels of just inundation with, uh, accusations of, a very, of very high caliber, um as far as severity goes uh it definitely i think i agree with you on the on certain levels of disconnecting i had to restructure just whose opinion i was letting in at all and that was something i had to learn because i came from not being on the internet to being an internet creator to then uh getting in the middle of some crazy conflicts and mm -hmm. uh yeah, I had to learn like who who uh, who was actually credible. I had to find and and deliberately listen to people who I know will not give me bullshit, but who aren't going to be psychopaths about the things that they say to me. Because I was getting at one at, at, you know multiple points in my career, I was getting inundated with so much negativity, so much like frothing, unhinged from reality negativity, um, that it was hard to like keep my ground and to know like you do start to go, am I fucking crazy? Am I the one? Did I do these things that people said that I did that I don't think I did? And you have to just get, you have to find those people in your life who are who are willing to talk real to you without being like hurtful and abusive to you. And those are the people you stick to and you let everything else kind of roll off. Yeah, you gotta you have can. friends who will, you, you gotta have friends who are no quicker to give you a hug than uh, bonk you on the head and tell you that you're stupid. Um, yeah. They can be hard to find sometimes, but when really you find helpful. them, they're in, yeah, they're invaluable, honestly. Yeah. Um, how do you find the self-control to know when you say, you know what, I'm a role model, I need to walk away? I think I've like conditioned myself over over time. Like my parents act kind of like the same, where we all I want to always pick the lowest level of response every single time I have the option to. And so, like when like when somebody does something and they like go below the belt, you pick the lowest level of response every single time, um, unless they give you a reason not to. And then once you build up the rapport that you that people know that you're going to be reasonable like that. Then you can step out and have like, you know, rules are meant to be broken. And then every once in a while you can step out and do something a little insane, you know, but if you don't, if you make it your identity to do that, then people are going to start treating you worse. But if you make it your thing to not do that, and then you start and then you do it every now and again, because I remember I blew up on Bada Banana. I called him a, a, like a, I called him like a snaggle tooth pizza face uh, sex pat. Um, Fuck Bada Banana. <laughs> Fuck Bada Banana. Yeah, I fucking... went absolutely. I, I blew up on him. I really did. And but nobody I read, cared. I read his emails that he sent me off, uh, 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 off of, uh, off on stream because I have him blocked on everywhere. Yeah. And he he sends me. He still from time to time sends me random der deranged emails that are just like. Oh really? Uh, oh that yeah. Is so funny. Like oh uh oh god i'm trying to remember the latest one. It was like literally like a month and a half ago. He got pissed at me about something and sent me this just incomprehensible like five emails in a row where he was just like calling me a caveman and stupid shit like that i'm like what the fuck nice is wrong one. with you yeah, he's a weirdo uh fuck that guy um yeah no no hesitation there 
yeah he um, was yeah he was genuinely well i mean i he tried to do the same thing to me um i and i only in response i sent him a uh, deviant art uh dp pokemon porn <laughs> um and it just like i just kept emailing him back more more um dp pokemon porn and he started to get upset and then he stopped he just stopped messaging me for some reason i don't think he i had i had a couple more loaded up i was gonna like you know shoot shoot some more his way maybe i'll just do it random maybe i'll ask him what is, how his day's been and then when he responds i'll just send more pokemon porn i'll see i'll see how that works out you know he definitely <laughs> anyways so yeah, here's, guy, a, here's a good question, question. and, and sure, I don't want to pick one for you, but this one, I saw this one in chat, it kind of flew up, but um, this one is from Vines, you can choose whether you want to answer it or not, but I figured we'd give it a chance. Uh, Vines says, I got a serious question for Char Shark, do you think there's an, any underlying valid critique of the whole noodle cookbook thing, or no? If so, what do you think the steel man is of it? They said... Uh, then they said, I talked to Joe Lewis a bit at one point, and I feel like he was able to kind of steel man the point that Pippa should lend more direct credit to the people and cultures that the dishes come from w with a bit of history about it and make the book less about herself and her experiences. What are your thoughts on that? No, Again, I don't know don't exactly gotta... what was... Sure, I don't know exactly what was in the book, and I don't think a lot of people who were mad at Kefalis was al also knew what was in the book, so it was really hard to, to steel man that. But the steel man would probably be, like, depending on how she wrote the book. If she wrote the book that, like minimized clowned on or made fun of like chinese culture or, or anything then obviously that would that would be it it wouldn't be the action of going to china and learning there's there's no more respectful way that you can learn about someone's culture to going don't going to their country and learning from the people who are basically the masters of a specific technique right I, it's it's more respectful than just like going to your chinese friend and being like hey dude you know how to make bang can you teach me how to make bang bang mian they were probably born in like cincinnati ohio and like eat mcdonald's every other day like the likelihood that they'll that they know that is honestly pretty low and so it it it, 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 it touches on the idea of like appropriation and um appropriation and mockery personally i don't think there's a problem with appropriation i don't think anybody really cares about appropriation i don't think anybody cares about appropriation honestly like taco bell is appropriation of mexican culture but i don't think anybody's mad that taco bell sells tacos it would probably be the um it, it, like if, if like the appropriation isn't the problem when it comes to like the you know whatever team redskins right when w w like a um like a baseball team or something um the the problem is the mockery of that certain culture or essentializing them to some like weird 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 idea that stereotypes them like it's the stereotyping and the mockery that's the problem not the actual appropriation because appropriation can just be anything and especially when we live here in america like our culture comes from like a billion different cultures around the world that's what makes us interesting and that's not and yes it's appropriation technically but it, that that wouldn't be the issue so like the issue so the, the way i would steal man that would be going over what exactly was in the book but i don't know if anybody actually knows or cares what's in the book so because the conversation didn't even have the opportunity to get there yet um so that'd be my my answer um, Sarshark, how do you feel about soy bunny? That's really funny. Describing that black people just use terms like colon. Okay, I'm glad that you brought this up because that lady is so chronically online. Dear mom, I think I think she lied to you. Really? When 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 Probably you were talking, I think she about about like how she used your clip talking about me. I think she lied oh, to you. Oh, um, yeah, I can actually, I can actually um, verify that. Yes, yeah, she did actually lie about yeah. that, and that yeah, was something just, that I was rather frustrated with. But it's so minor. I mean, like, I don't. Whatever. She lied about. She lied to my face about that particular thing. Um, I, I it Straight is true because uh, on uh, on a, a, any uh, put together the clip from her talking about uh, about it uh, earlier with Kira chats um, and then also uh, put it side by side with the clip from her conversation with me. In the conversation with Kira Chat, she says that she did put it on there. Uh, she did put my clip in there to sort of grant credence and put a name to uh, to it. Uh, and, um, and then when she was on the call with me, she said she didn't do it for that reason. So I do think that she was she did lie to me in that particular instance, and I, I don't appreciate that, um, especially because yeah. When I did, and now it's out there, everybody knows who I was talking about. When I was, when I did the Cat Black react, um, you know, I didn't name names for the specific reason that I didn't want to, to do drama cycle. I wanted to talk about the subject. I wanted to talk about people, uh, how quickly, you know, wrong information can get out of hand in the, in the heat of this type of drama. Um, and I didn't want to name names or fucking be an asshole to anybody or get anybody to start, uh, 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 
you know assigning a list so i, I don't i do I, I i i don't appreciate that that was uh that there's so much dishonesty around that because my entire intention was to get people to think about the issue and to not get mad about the mistakes of uh, the mistakes or whatever uh, of an individual person i was trying to deliberately avoid that type of shit anyway. that was so true um, yeah, and, 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 and on that topic with, like, colonizer stuff, it seemed, like, so chronically, wildly online that she would say something along those lines, mostly because I don't think, like, actual bl black people don't talk like this. Black people don't, black people are normal people who don't know, like, academic speak and, and, and shit like that. I think if you talk to your average black person and you say, and somebody goes, like, you know, fuck you, mayo monkey, to like a random white person on the street, and you tell, and you ask them, like, you know, random, random shit like that, and you're like, and you ask them, hey, is this racism? I think most of them would be like, yeah, that is. You know, I don't think most of them speak like this. I really, like, once again, I think like an ounce of knowledge comes with a pound of, of like ignorance <laughs> or, or like hubris. When it comes to like you think you know way more than you do when i just don't think your average black person gives a shit about that i think your average black person is worrying about like how to put food on the table and take care of their kids and you know like living living a life that's worth living and you know spending a time like humans want to do with other humans that they you know love being love being around i don't think they know about that i think a lot of black people just kind of hope that they don't get randomly killed by a cop one day while they're like coming home from with milk and um and 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 and, and, and live a life and get to you know, spend time with their family and friends and, you know, significant others and shit like that. I think, like, a lot of this is, like, really terminally online. And I really feel like a big problem with a lot of the, like, stuff online these days that we're trying to correct comes from people who, like, step down from their ivory towers and, like, academia and who are, like, you know, um, college grads basically going, like, oh, yeah, this is definitely so true. This is so real. We do this here. And then using words, how how normal people don't use the words, and then people getting confused and right-wingers running with it. And then we have to clean up their their mess as they lord over us, telling us that they're more educated and we need to fall in line and we need to, you know, know our place. When at the end, well, yeah, and, and this kind of, I kind of had this conversation with FDE kind of, like, as well, where, like, you can you can talk in this, like, really analytical and like academic speech, which I think is like really needed and, 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 and warranted. But when you talk to your average person, you can't use words like this. They won't know what you're saying. You won't know what you're saying and they'll be confused and they'll be, you know, upset with, with or, or they'll be, or they'll get the wrong impression about everything that you, that you say. And it'll be like a huge problem. And I just don't think uh, the, the proof in the pudding is her being like, uh, yeah, definitely black people agree with me. Maybe if she like, Maybe if she like le gives them leading questions and tells them that this is exactly what this is, maybe. But I think if you just ask them, I don't think I don't think so. I think a lot of like minorities care more about going to work tomorrow and putting food on the table for their for themselves and their family than they do about the 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 the, the intricacies about what exactly racism is. I think they they're just like if you're like ethnically shitty to somebody, they'll probably call that racist too, from from what I've seen. Or they'll just be racist to black people themselves, because it's not like black people are immune to being really racist towards black people. Actually, actually, it's even even proven that um, in the, it's even proven that like anti-black sentiments are even like really big in the black community as well. There are some studies that, that we've uh, talked about on stream before how like um, uh, people of, of like all races and especially like white people think really poorly of they're more likely to convict a dark skin, you know, prop um, de um, defendant of of uh, of a crime with a similar you know knowledge than like a light skin or like white one, and that and that also persists to a lesser degree than I if I imagine, but still persists even in black communities. So it's not it just doesn't make any sense. I just believe that this that this half black weirdo tries to claim words that they don't really know much about. If I'm going to be honest with you, I'm um, always very you uh, I'm always but, very hesitant to make personally or to um, to just onboard arguments that sort of claim what opinions a, lar a broad group of people have. It's something I stray away from. I don't often make arguments in my own stuff from my own, you know, intersectionality. I don't make broad, uh, you know, claims about, uh, you know, neurodivergent people or broad claims about trans people and what they believe. And I'm always a little hesitant to just onboard claims that, that X group totally agrees with me on everything. Um, especially there was a part in the conversation where I was very hesitant. And I think that, I think that provoked some, perhaps a little bit of frustration for, on Soul Bunny's part, um, which was when I said that I, I don't know if I, I don't know 
I don't know how you would know for sure if the average black person was angry about say her name or would conclude that it was a colonizer issue because I don't well, know. It's so terminally I mean, online I, to think I, that. I don't. Oh I, my gosh. I look. I'm not. I'm not black, but but like I've I've met a lot of people in the world. I don't think and and a. a a, 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 the average anybody even knew about that hashtag on a pure statistical level, but I don't have the data. So I don't know why that argument, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to handle an argument where somebody is claiming that a group has X opinion or would have X opinion if we don't even have any data to, to look at that. I just, I, if, I, stray, anybody... I stay away from arguments that try to, to say what a group thinks generally. Because I just don't yeah, think if, they're very if anybody effective. ever like says like I speak for my minority group, you should probably just turn your brain off and walk away, honestly, because they don't. You can speak in their advocacy, but you can only speak for yourself. Okay? Unless unless you're like unless you're like a like a trusted, you know, caretaker of somebody, you can only speak for yourself. Okay? You can speak in advocacy, you could be like, I advocate for these people, or I think this is in their best interest, I think this is in our best interest. But I, you can only speak for yourself. Fuck you. You don't speak for me. Okay. You don't speak for a lot of people out there. And it's not because we're like, we're, 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 we're you're like anti black, you know, insert slur here. It's because we just don't agree with you. Fuck you. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> we don't, listen, we don't like your kind. Me, me and the other, me and the other black people who are normal, we don't like your kind around these parts here, feller. Now go on, get. That's a, that's what I got to say. All right. Go on, get out of I here. Will, I will. I'm, get, gonna, I'm going to hard get no to step comment in. on that particular comment. Right, get to I'm step, step in. out of this one. <laughs> I'm, I'll let you. That's that's your joke. I'm going to step away from that one. Look, I'm going to yeah. no comment hard on that, that one. That one's just me. All I will say is that uh, that uh, I definitely will never claim to speak for all, uh, all white trans women because. Uh, historically white trans women don't really like me that much let's just as no. as people in chat have pointed out there have been a lot who haven't really liked me very much and interestingly it's often because i tend to be on the average a little more radical in most of my views and some of them consider that to be very bad so you know nobody i mean no, nobody can speak for any group okay i don't i don't i think those arguments are fraught I think they have problems, and I don't really think that unless you're coming with some seriously detailed polling data, uh, it's hard to say what, what the average of any group thinks. Uh, I think that's a pretty rough thing to make. That. That's true. Yeah. And honestly, you know, I I like trans people. They're pretty, they're pretty all right. Yeah. If I saw one walking on the same side of the sidewalk as me, I would not cross the street. Oh, mostly. Well, that's, that's unless, encouraging. Unless they look really scary. Like they had, they were like covered in blood. And, and shit like that, then I would like cross like the street the, just to get a cool picture. If it picture. was a trans woman who looked like the witch from uh, Left 4 Dead, you might run. Y yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. May maybe, maybe, maybe. But, but you know, you, you know, you know how dogs is and all that. Yeah. Um, I just, I just find it really. I know they're gonna get mad at me for being like a, uh, for for using for using the term monkey here a couple of times. She literally used the word like pit bull though, um, when when she was talking. So I don't think. Uh, I don't think they, that they have like the the space to get mad at me. Confirmed trans ally. I love trans people. I think they're great. I think they're I think they're so cool and definitely could be way worse. They have like a lot of room to be worse. Honestly, that's, that's same with black people. True. Yeah, we could we same could be, way, a lot of room we could to be, be worse. way worse. Um, that is true. Yeah, we that could. is true. Um, but but yeah, and anybody any more? I'm I'm looking at YouTube chat as well. Um, DM Mama's YouTube chat as well. So you guys are are also seen. I appreciate um, all of this. I mean, I think this has yeah. been a really, I feel like this has been a really productive conversation. I, I hope like I added something to your stream. I think you did. I think you added a lot. I've really enjoyed this conversation, even though the topic is, I have, I feel like I have a knot in my stomach from talking about all this drama and, 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 uh, and everything. But I, I'm, I, I'm very happy that we had this conversation and I do think that it's been yeah. productive and I do think that it's given some insight into your uh, side of things. And I do think that, you mm -hmm. know, um, you've been very candid as well. Um, and I think that's only fair given the context of everything prior. Um, I feel like you were willing to go very deep on a lot of the, a lot of your feelings and thoughts about these things. Um, and I really appreciate that. 
Um, I really appreciate you. Oh, Louis Boyce, um, my question flew away, but I don't know. Can you oh, also, do you do I know anything about what Soul Bunny said about Merrick? Actually, I haven't watched almost any of these people's content, so my only opinion of them is what they've said to me specifically, and what they've done to people who I know are in the space. But I I don't know what she said about Merrick. I had I've had Soul Bunny blocked since um since I I saw what the what the video that she made what she said about me in the in, in that clip in in that video. The second I saw what she said, I closed it and then found her profile and then blocked her and then blocked all the other people. And then had like a, um, a, 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 a a tweet liker blocker and blocked all the people who liked all of those things. And I and I and I also like interacted with them a little bit to bait them to say more things so I could have more people to block from their community. Um, so I blocked like I think probably like sixty percent of a lot of their um, uh, most most active community members and everything. And I haven't had really any stragglers. I've had like a couple stragglers that I've had to like pick off, but. Mostly because of that, I, since I, I'm I'm pretty quick on the block, I don't I don't get to see a lot of the things that they say. Mostly, be, it, and it kind of stops me from being baited into talking about them more and wasting time. Because yeah. like there's a, there are actually important things that we need to talk about, and that is not I, it. I, I, I do Shark, hope that DM you feel discussion. like. Thank you. Uh, I do hope you feel like this was a productive conversation. I I aimed to uh, ask questions that would uh, you know get us talking in a productive direction, but also, you know, I do I do think it's only fair for you to have your, uh, your side said, because I, I, I mean, God knows, I mean, I've reacted to now, I had a conversation with Soul Bunny and I reacted to this whole video of the foreign man thing, which made some allegations. So I, I hope you feel like yeah. this was a productive conversation. Cause I feel you know, like- You I think it, he's I probably like mad at me. Yeah, it, it was. I appreciate you. I think he's he was mad at me as well, mostly because um, when I saw him talking to talking to and about Rico Rants, um, I don't follow him. I don't know much about the guy, but he seems like okay. He he didn't say anything that I saw that was insane, so I just blocked him instantly when I saw that when it came across my timeline. So I just I instantly blocked him as well, and and so I think he he noticed that I blocked him one day and then decided to call me a slur for it, um, which is nice. a very normal thing that a normal human being does. That when is... when they find somebody that they're blocked. Also, Merrick said something wrong about thirteen fifty. I think I remember like a while ago she like mis she misquoted like thir thirteen fifty when she was trying to explain why it was bad, and then some people jumped on her for it because they're stupid. Even though like a white person does like a good thing and may make a like a misstep one time to by misquoting uh, stats. I, I think the ninety percent of black people don't even was... know was like really unfair to Merrick. Um, Wait, I didn't, I didn't even see what happened, but yeah, anybody, like anybody who treats Merrick bad is, um, is, is, is on face the wall. Um, anyways, um, uh, honestly, that's the most adult way to handle it. Yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, well, Rico, I, I don't know, I don't know well. much about this Rico character. Um, oh, I, yeah. I, I've known Rico for a while. In fact, I think we're going to have a conversation at some point in the future. Um, we definitely don't agree on all issues. I think he's a, a little more uh, centrist than I am. Um, but I've known of him for a while in these spaces and uh, I've never found him to be a toxic individual to engage with, even though we don't agree with everything politically. I, uh, he, he, he approached me a while ago to, to have a conversation. So I might be talking with him in the future. So we'll see about that. Mm, you um, disagree with me on a single point? Very interesting now, face the wall. Yeah, That's how well, all leftist conversations should go. I, I, I wish it was. I, I hope not. That would that would make me. I just when I when I think about that, I just want to retire and just be like, I'm done with this shit. I'll, go, I'll get the, 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 have like a little have a little potato farm in the backyard and. And, and and sell some to the local you know yeah, farmers market just and check and that's out the, and go become a go, yeah, go wake, become wake, a professional <laughs> bird watcher. I mean, I've you thought know, about yeah, it you're, many times, but yeah, your uh, your friend is is next to you. They're like, oh, you are you okay? You passed out. V Vosh, um, d d d tw d Twitter drama. Say her name. What? What are you talking about? The the grill's almost ready. Come yeah. on, we oh, we we got God. you a Smirnoff ice. Yeah. Oh my God, peace, <laughs> peace at last. Oh my dear God. Well, uh, uh, sit, Shark, sit up, yeah. thank you so much for coming on. Seriously, uh, I do appreciate this conversation. I appreciate you being, uh, you know, open and, and honest to the best of my knowledge uh, in everything you've said. I appreciate you being willing to talk so so vulnerably about a lot of issues and also uh, be, you know, I appreciate that you were willing to be honest about your anger about certain things as well. Um, and I hope this, I hope you felt this was a productive conversation because I've really enjoyed this and I hope that we can speak again in the future, not about drama, but I was more than happy to be able to sit down with you and talk with you about this as well. I'm not trying to say that like, uh, like, like I didn't like it because it was drama. I, I still appreciated talking with you a lot. I think it was a really good conversation. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really appreciate it. You know, um, I just when 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 I saw that, it kind of like sparked my interest to talk about this again. Um, I didn't want this to be like the the last time. I know them. They're always like, "This is the last time I talk about this." And me, me, and me and Bestie, you know, arm around drama again with this with the same shit again. But you know, I've I've probably talked about this like once and any other time, and I haven't expanded on any of my ideas. And I thought it'd be nice to give your community and in my community and everything, since you saw them uh, some stuff uh, a, a little bit more insight into how I feel and how I'm going to be moving forward. Since uh, I mean, I really we, we have a decent that. amount of overlap. And so I, I thought you it'd do. be good for them to, to, to understand what's going on and how we move forward in the future. Cause I don't, I know, like, I know, I know the, the viewers hate it when we're all, we're all at each other's throats and they just want, you know, fun content about how we make the world a better place. And yeah, you know, they, they honestly, definitely never want too. blood. Yeah. The never, viewers. never, never, but, ne- never uh, have, never will. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I appreciate mean, you. I, I try to, you know, the imps. I try to encourage them to be positive, and even when there's, even when there's people that they're mad at, I try to encourage them to engage in a way that's at least productive. Um, and you know, uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate, I appreciate you. Coming you. On. Everybody, Take care everyone of yourself, who's watching, please, please go give Shark three hundred zero a follow. Shark three hundred zero on Twitch and on YouTube. Same name on both, right? Um, uh, yes, yes, same name. I know some people have some trouble spelling it. It's the word shark, the number three, the letter O, and the word zero. I made it when I was 13, so you can't make fun of it. It's up on the screen in big letters, so, and we've been having it go, go in chat, so you should. And Demon Mama as well. You can shut yourself out, please. Oh, yeah. Well, my name is Demon Mama. Uh, you can find me uh, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Demon Mama or my website, demonmama.com. Very easy to find, just Demon Mama. Um, and I would, of course, love to have you all come say hello. Um, uh, I know there's already some overlap between our communities, um, which is great. Um, and I just want to say, uh, thank you all for being cool. Thank you for hanging out and, uh, for, for talking all about, about all this stuff. And, uh, yeah. Um, thanks for, for sitting down with me. Seriously. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad. I hope, uh, it was enlightening and or interesting. So yeah, absolutely was. Appreciate thank it. you so much. Right. Have a good night. Yeah, no problem. Take care. See you all later and make sure you take care of yourself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Later. Bye for now. Oh, what a, what a, what a very good, hey, the guest text is wrong. The guest text is still old. My goodness, my goodness. I feel like that was a very good talk. Um, I hope people felt like I did good. I wanted to make sure that I was asking, um, you know, valuable questions. I wanted to make sure, but I also wanted to make sure that I gave Shark just as much room to talk as I gave Soul Bunny because I gave Soul Bunny a lot of room to talk and I wanted Shark to have his opportunity to speak as well. I think that's the only fair and good way to do it. And I'm also very happy that I was able to hear their, you know, in their own words, their perspective. Um, I really, really enjoyed that conversation. Um, I will say uh, I am feeling a little bit stressed because of the content matter. And um, I feel really... It does bother me how much hurt there is uh, in these spaces, how much uh, legitimate anger and pain and sadness is caused by these conflicts. But I feel like I already said that. So maybe there's not much else for me to say in summation. I'm very happy that I sat down uh, and spoke with Shark, just like I was happy to sit down and speak with Soul Bunny. And um, 